listen to my story. This may be our last chance. Um, so, uh, it has been a, a, a bit, um, but last time, uh, it was a fairly simple, uh, session. Once again, a, a rather, uh, like RP heavy session, uh, specifically revolving around the fact that y'all managed to avoid conflict with, uh, the retrieval squad that was supposed to come and, you know, investigate why some motherfuckers were impersonating one of their members and so they they you know showed up and all our tan managed to uh, sweet talk his way into uh, avoiding conflict and that uh ended up with them you know kind of like seeing the 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 the, the skills the set of skills that you guys had and deciding to you know like hey uh Maybe they might be a little bit worth worth keeping around. So they take you in uh, to a uh, kind of like a pocket dimension type thing uh, to talk to their their leader, a gentleman by the name of Thaden. Uh, Thaden is rather full of himself and very much in control. And is very, very much, uh, very, you know, nonplussed by, uh, you know, the, the the various kind of threats and um, anger or, 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 you know, emotions that you guys like through his way. And in fact, he, you know, seemed to be fairly open to, you know, kind of forming at least a temporary alliance. Uh, to that end, he, uh, you know, wanted to make a quick deal. Which both Wisteria and Walden took up. Uh, a magic tattoo appearing on their forearm. Uh, what exactly that does, uh, you know, they're going to have to figure out, and, you know, as, as, as time goes on. But it is at the very least a, um, a mark of, like, the covenant that they made. Uh, Walden, you specifically, once the tattoo appeared, started feeling your soul feel a little bit heavier. As someone that, you know, has, has like, a, a direct connection to, to that, you know, to, 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 like, life and death. So, with that in mind, um, he mentioned that effectively every, every aspect of the city is currently, um, influenced by, at least partially, by, like, extra planar forces, be they uh, fey, be they uh, from more benevolent realms, but in, in any case, their mere presence is actively weakening the veil between the world and like the rest of the you know like multiverse or creation. So, with that in mind, um, he mentioned that like a good place to start, you know, kind of kind of uh, fixing things up a bit would be trying to find uh, Luca, uh, the boss of the Pikes, since he had, uh, you guys had noticed that he had started acting a bit more erratically, a bit more paranoid. Uh, and Thaden uh, theorizes that it is probably due to some sort of Fey influence, since the Fey quite enjoy fucking with people mentally. So we left off with you guys uh, brandishing your, you know, brand new... Um, goodies given to you by uh you know be it thaden or or that you've gathered just from your current adventures and uh are uh, setting off to find luca uh hopefully intact effectively the uh where y'all were last at was um heading to the hotel since that's that's uh, luca's usual haunt um, as you guys are walking down the street, uh, you hear a, a, you know, just, it's, there's people, like, passing by and everything, uh, and you hear a, a voice, Al, call out your name. You hear, hey, hey, Al! Turning to look at it, you find a 
pointy bearded um uh, purple skinned tiefling man with short horns that stick straight up and straight through his uh pretty worn um like messenger cap uh you recognize him as frederico a um kind of like informant that you've had uh you know when when you were like doing like some some general work in the past hey um you you doing good man you you seem a little i don't know worn i suppose it's been a day it's, it's sadly been a day a week <laughs> i hear you i hear you since that bombing man it's been it's been crazy as if the city hey. wasn't chaos enough. Listen, you know I'm not one to give out freebies, but I figured, it, you know, it wouldn't hurt to get you to, to look into it for me, but I hear... He kind of like looks both directions and leans in a bit. I hear that the Steel United have been getting some, some funky little visitors recently. Some sort of mechanical living mechanical doodads or something. I think it's just some of their, like, robot bit, you know, thingamajigs that they make, but uh, so, some some of the authorities have been getting a little... a little... scared of some of the things that they've been supposedly working with. Interesting. I appreciate it, Fred. I'll look no into worries. It. Hey, hey, hey. I heard the word Aeon being thrown around. I'd look into that first. Huh. Who these? Oh, we lost him. Oh. oh no. Hello? Fred, you alright? Fred. <laughs> what Fred, is... Fred, what's going on? Uh that's Fred, a good to us. <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> you okay? I got, yeah, I don't know why I disconnected. All right, <laughs> all right. So, <laughs> where, Fred? Where, where was I? Um, Spice for a second. That might you you said something about um, uh, aeons. Yeah, uh, yeah, you, yeah, you yeah, are yeah, part yes. of this conversation. Shut up. Am I not? No, this is this is absolutely like to the side. With, this is an informant of mine. Like he wouldn't just be talking to all of us. Yeah, yeah. While well, while well, this is happening, you guys are probably you know just kind of like waiting around like the new stand that uh that Frederico owns or uh. You know, maybe even getting some fucking shawarma or some uh, chowta, like uh, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, like 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 uh, it's like a flatbread with like uh, th these like uh, crumbly meatballs and like brown gravy that like is is commonly eaten as a uh, street food around here. I get a euro. Uh, no, no, the euros don't exist. There are no Greeks. The Your... Greeks don't exist. The Turkish one. This is actual. <laughs> I've always wanted to get a euro, and I can't even do it in D and D, man. You want to eat money? Euro, not euro. Oh, gyro. <laughs> euro, not euro. Yeah, goro. Okay. <laughs> um, so you you spice for a second, Fred. Um, what was that about a nail? I don't. I don't know. That's that's the the name that the uh, authorities have been throwing around for the things that they've been supposedly working with. Once again, you know they constantly have like little robots or the thingy majigs like that. What the hell is that? He points at Mimi. Um, it's complicated. Uh. All right. Listen, I'm not gonna ask uh, too many questions. Just it, um. It was it was a box once, and now it's a dog. Uh, uh, We're still trying uh, to figure that one out ourselves. Um, I'm not sure if you you you, you have some information, Fred. Um, I asked someone about him after we've adopted him. I, I suppose you'd say. Have you heard of a wandering mimic before? Can't say I have, but I'm gonna look into it now. Right, neither have I. It was um. He's kind of like scratching his beard a bit and like looking at it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not too sure what to make of it myself. Um, very strange, very strange. Well, I mean, 
As long as he sits and gives his paw one and one master, I guess. Um, yes. Either way. Don't touch it. It hurts. Okay, noted. Well, uh, in any case, um, find out some information for me about the, the whole Steel United Aeon stuff, and, uh, I'll make it, I'll make it worth your while. I, pro I promise you will. Alright, alright. I promise you well, I will, is what I meant to say. I flubbed my words. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know why the distinction, but okay. Alright, farewell. Okay, Get out of here, friend. you scamp. I got some other customers coming. Alright, Fred. You take care. And I'll walk away. He, like, tips his, tips his little hat at you. Alright. Oh, god damn it, Ice. <laughs> so, ice, um, stop. Y'all, y'all continue on your way, um, and make it to Shameless. Uh, it is still pretty early in the morning. There's a giant. Okay, hold on. There, uh, uh, yeah. So it's still pretty early in the morning. the The sun is, you know, peeking up over the horizon. Um, it's it's a fairly overcast day as well. One thing that uh, y'all have started to kind of feel is just the wear of, of of time at the moment. You you've been awake for for a few hours, and um, you know are very much very much starting to, to feel feel quite a bit. Um, Rail, you remember that your father is going to be leaving uh, for the you know brand new opportunity in 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 a, um, you know out of the city relatively soon as well. Uh, so, you know, there, there's, there's a, a very slight sense of urgency in order to, you know, go, go see him off. Uh, that being said, um, you know, you guys make it to Shameless, where in the lobby, you find Grembo. Just, you know, relaxing, uh, talking to, to a few people, um, or like delegating some tasks. Uh, he seems a little... A little stress, uh, that 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 much is clear, but you know, for the most part, uh, he's he's you know kind of in, in control, um, you know, sending people off to to do like rounds around the like the the the, the Pike's territory, you know, like just general general like boss things, uh, things that Wisteria you have seen Luca do before. A uh, question, a uh, continuity yes. question. Is Grimo at this current moment aware that we talked to the last no. guardian of the Watcher? No. Right. Um. Um. Gr Grimbo, what are you? Is everything okay? Why are you? Hey. Uh. Where's Luca? Well. Uh, Luca. Kind of came down with something last night. We're not too sure what the hell happened, but he was he was fine one day or or one minute, and then all of a sudden he. Uh, was just on the ground convulsing, uh, talking about a, some sort of blue butterfly or something. Um, With we got some... Rita, you see her eyes, like, pupils shrink, like, in fear. Just like, oh, that's not good at all. Uh, huh. Oh, right, Grimbo, Grimbo. Uh, so we, we were daily dallying around the town, and, um, we still got a new tattoo. Come over, come look at it. And I want to, like, pull Grembo over, like, and, like, lift with serious sleeves so that they can see, like, as subtly as I can, if you want me to roll sleight of hand or whatnot. Um, no, nah, no, nah, you don't. don't I want to, I want to, like, as covertly and, like, normally as I can, show him the brand of the Watcher. Uh, huh. Kind of in the middle of something, but all right. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was. I thought it was. I thought it was important. Sorry. Important, yes. The time, no. No, that it's absolutely the time. Things are happening. The time is currently that Luca might be fucked. Well, he Grebel needs to. He, and this is all I'm out of fucked. character, mind you. Grebel needed to know that we're on the same level. I guess, but also, whatever. Oh. Uh, yeah. What do you think of it? It didn't cost too much. What was it? Five gold. I think it costs a little bit more than that. He kind of like looks both directions and and goes, "Come, come with me." Right, right. Let's do it. He takes y'all uh, into the the dining room. Uh, that like the the restaurant dining area, uh, off to the side of the main lobby. 
and and he kind of like you know is is, is hand to his mouth just just uh, walking uh, clearly a, a bit more perturbed um he turns back to you and, and and like raises his hand off his mouth like almost like to like speak but but can't really find the words so he just uh, listen that's I, I see you guys met by uh, Thaden. Listen, just, um, I'm sorry. Why are you sorry? Well, I mean, I figured you'd be a little bit more angry about me having been working with him, but... As if we have any true allegiance anywhere. Well, I can't speak for, um, Wisteria, but... I mean, I have allegiance to this group, and that's about it. So, as far as I'm your concerned. your overhead means nothing to me because I still have my overhead. You know. Okay. Okay. But that's. Assuming that doesn't interfere with what I'm doing, so I don't have any problem with it. Oh. Uh, what I do uh... have a problem with is what's going on with Luca because that might be my fault. I. How so? Listen, I'm being dead serious here. This... Between you and me. He, like, rolls up or, or, or like... Takes off, off, like, a shirt a little bit, like, uh, exposing his shoulder. Like, the brand is, like, on his shoulder. Like, on the back of his, uh, of his left shoulder. He goes... As much as I... Have done for... Thaden... I only did it specifically to help, you know, the people of 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 the Copperlight District. I I don't quite have much of an allegiance to him myself. Uh, I'm sure he'd be he'd be he'd be, he'd be rather upset to hear that. However, I, you know, I I all I care about is that the people of this city of of this neighborhood stay safe. Oh. If if there's something that's happening here due to you know um out of the forces out of the ordinary i i i would like to know not for thaden not for me but for the people of the city area um i assume there's like chairs in this room uh yeah yeah there's there's like tables and chairs like this where you guys had breakfast luca like a few days ago um are we like in a private-ish space there's a couple of workers like moving uh, about, you know, kind of like setting up um, some stuff for like a uh, lunch service, but um, you know, not not really like with an earshot. Um, Wisteria takes off her coat and pulls down like her shirt, sh like corners, like by her shoulders, revealing the massive. Well, I guess only part of it, but revealing the massive blue butterfly tattoo on her back. Okay. Well then. Yeah. That's a sock. I didn't put this here. I had this put here. I would imagine it'd be very difficult to put a tattoo on yourself like that. I have to say well, the same. I didn't pay to have this done. This was just right. done to me by something, mm. which I perceive as, or I perceived at the time with a blue butterfly. So, okay, or, that's problematic. Yes, um, exactly. I, I'm, you see why I had that look on my face. Walden, you start feeling a bit of a warmth. Um, not not like a warmth that you feel for, from like heat, but like the warmth that you feel when you're like touching ice for too long, uh, on on like your your back pocket. Reaching in, you pull out the list. And a name starts to materialize. While well, this this happening while while they are talking. Um. Well, listen. Do you know any information about this? No. All I know is that it was a standard standard smuggling job, as I do. And what was in the box was a jar 
very fancy jar with a blue butterfly in it. And I tripped on something, jar broke, butterfly escaped, marked me, and just a week or so ago, that appeared on my back. So I don't really know much more than that. Interesting. Okay. Uh, Wisteria's gonna put her coat back on, hoping that no one else but the party and Grembo saw. Hmm. This... this is... Well, we're learning oh. a lot today, aren't we? This is... A lot to take in, yeah. But that That's definitely for sure. Um... If... Ah. Listen. We might need to split up, and as he's saying that, a scream rings out throughout the hotel. Um... Two of the maids uh, that, you know, work in the hotel, uh, specifically the ones that were kind of like Luca's favorites, the ones that were the, that, that handled his, uh, his personal, uh, like, uh, a penthouse on the top floor, come just rushing out of the, 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 the stairwell. One of them bleeding incredibly heavily from her arm, from a, a deep, deep gash on, on her forearm. They're, they're in hysterics, tears, like, makeup running, just, you know, in, in absolute hysterics. Help! Help! There's, there's some men! They, they, they came out of nowhere, they, they attacked us! Stereo is off. Our time falls. I'll... I will then will... Do a medicine check to help the arm. Okay, yeah, go for it. <laughs> a plus zero. Oh! Okay, I, I don't believe it, so I'm gonna do it on the... I got a 20, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna roll on the thing. It's too convenient. Oh, eight. That's a 20. <laughs> I rolled two 20s. One on, the, one on Beyond 20 and one on the game. Okay. Well, I mean, good, good fucking shit, man. Like, <laughs> Alright, so... As you do that, uh, you, you guys like run up, and uh, uh, Walden, you immediately tear off like a piece of her, um, her like sleeve that that was uh, kind of dangling, and you make like a, a a quick tourniquet and like start like you know, uh, making sure that it's not infected yet. You know, uh, uh, you wash the injury and and you uh, tie it off. Uh, the bleeding starts uh, starts to kind of quell. I, I, thank you, dearie. Drink water and uh find somebody to stitch it up. I can't do that. Drink water. And I'll go oh, don't worry. Like don't worry. We'll, we'll, we'll handle it from here. Uh, uh, Grembo turns to, to like uh, some of his men. You! Go get a doctor! Grembo uh, turns back to you guys, or, or to, to the, the, the housemates, and asks, what What exactly happened? Where, where, what, where, where were they? They, they were... We were going, crossing the, the gardens up, up in the top floor, uh, uh, when, when all of a sudden we, we see a bunch of, uh, 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 Lucas pets from the menagerie just, just out and about. Uh, we, we, we weren't too sure what was going on. But, uh, as, as, as we, we went to investigate, uh, a large group of men wearing identical black uniforms and featureless masks aside from just two dark... Staring eyes. Uh, I came out from around the corner. Uh, one of them chased us, slashed uh, uh, me, uh, uh, Miriam up real good. But uh, as as soon as he uh, we we started running away, and he got a little too far from his friends, he started screaming this awful, awful scream, and and rushed back to uh, to the others. He could have easily easily ca caught up to us, but we're we're. we're Thankful either way that he that he decided to turn back. The, the entire men, the menagerie let loose. Grembo puts his hand on his forehead. That's gonna be a paperwork nightmare. Well, okay. Did you see Luca anywhere? No, sadly. We 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 think he was in the penthouse, but we we're, we can't be too sure. All right. Well, I, I suppose 
I suppose I'm gonna go investigate. You with me? Uh, no, me and Wisteria are not. We're already gone. Yeah. Oh, I mean, do, do, do you know where where they went? Uh, I'm assuming Wisteria did, and see, we also saw where they came from, so we probably, like, ran the way they came from, and I'm assuming Wisteria has enough information to, like, make yeah. her way. So I'm following I probably her. know this building well enough to, like, I can overhear, like, the word menagerie and just go, like, I know where that is. I'm lost. I don't know where to go. Lead okay. the way, Grumbo. <laughs> Okay. We'll follow you, Grumbo. <laughs> oh, uh, a, 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 a few of a few of the pikesmen go. Yeah, we'll follow you, Grumbo. And uh, he, he takes uh, what's it called? Um, he leads he leads uh, uh, you two as well as five other dudes uh, up up to the top floor. Oh man, I love five guys. Um, I'm just gonna send this in the general of the server. I rolled initiative just by accident trying to test out a thing, and that's a nat twenty. Ah, oh, 20s day. Yeah, this is going to be a dizzying fall later. If only we were rolling initiative right now. If only we were rolling initiative right now. Right? <laughs> I can't do with this. <laughs> Alright, so, what's it called? Sends, uh, I, I guess since you guys decided to you know, come up a little bit earlier, uh, Wisteria, you and Al um, can put yourselves anywhere up through this line. Oh, wait, no, that's not, that's not what I want to do. with the fuck? The marker. Up through here. Um, what is this thing right here? Is this a pavilion, or is this, like, a block thing? It's, it's like a little, um, like, like, a inlay in the, the tile in, like, that part of the, the, the little thingy. Um, where here? Because they're, like, cover. Where here? So, cover would probably be, like, obviously, like, the shrubbery, uh, both, like, the actual shrubs themselves, as well as, like, the, the sculpted ones. Um, uh, any, like, walls, kind of like this right here. Can I, is this cover right here? Huh? I would call that concealment. Because... I'd, call, I'd call that cover. Uh, I, I, I yeah, uh, if you want to be concealed, you would have to, like, roll for, to, like, hide while in cover. To be um, fair... You should really think of concealment because we're still running to our goal. You're not thinking I'm gonna hide right now. Yeah, that that is that is true. That's why Al is where he is. He's like he ran straight and now he's like veering off a little. I feel like Mysterio uh -oh. is the type to be like cover to cover runner. Like a sniper. Yes. Never shoot from the same spot. Yeah, so she's gonna go here and then like when we can move forward again, she'll move to the next cover and so on and so forth. Yeah. Um because that's what she's gonna be from now on. She's less of a bold and brash get in the gunfight. Okay, so um with their face and punch them. She isn't supposed to do that anymore. Oh, that's my job now. Yeah, this, she is not a tank. This right here is I mean you've never really been a tank. Uh you know that I'm that right there tank. is to the menagerie and this up here is to the oh. Penthouse. I see. What about what's to the bottom left? That's these stairs going that way. Which ones? Oh, I say like right back here. Like right back here. Lost. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, what's it called? Uh, that is just gonna be like an outlook. That's where outlook. the bathrooms are. That's where the bathrooms. Yeah. To, 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 like, to like look, gonna... look, uh, look out the city. I'll need those later. I also, thank you, Frag Maps, for this wonderful map. It's very pretty. Uh, I actually had a completely different map in mind, but this this works so fucking well. Thank you, Frag Maps. Our All right, sponsor right. for today's episode. Yes. So, uh, what's it called? Um, today's episode is sponsored by Frag Maps and Five Guys. Go to your local Frag Maps Five Guys uh, distributor today. Yeah. Uh, feel free to change your color, by the way. But uh, this right you? here. I actually don't know. I'm just blue. Bottle view to blue. Oh, yeah, I think I see it. But uh, this right here uh, is where uh, you, Rail, and um, uh, Walden are going to be, uh, as well as Grembo. Grembo is going to be right here. It's like when a high school teacher gives his class control of the mouse on a, on the fucking overhead. Oh. No, they what were... this is, we're, re we're recreating electrons going around an atom. Yeah. 
Just you can set up anywhere there. Here. Yeah. Up here. Yeah. Hmm. Can I wake? How high is it? Can I jump over? It's probably 10 uh, feet. It's probably 10. I'm just like, a, yeah, 10, maybe. It's, it's, it's a good 10 would feet, I'd say. So, would I be safe or ready to roll for it? You're six feet tall? Yes. I would I would have you roll for it, but I mean, like, you'd probably have, like, you know, probably wouldn't be, like, too difficult of a roll. Oh, yeah. Huh? All well, right. We'll take your action you. bonus action then movement so you couldn't do anything else after. Okay, wait, wait, wait. What was right. that? I heard. Oi, 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 oi. <laughs> what? Did you say words? What? What did you just say, Dust? Who are you? Oh, who are you? Got you. Wait, 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 wait. Um. So, me and our Tam are about, like, what? At, like, 30 ish feet in front of people? Uh, about. Okay. 20 to 30. I feel like based yeah. on the conversation, I could have probably gotten further, but it's fine. Oh, uh... No, it's, it's fine. We can we can roll like this. It's fine. Yeah, no, no, no. Especially since I'm not a frontliner, but... Wisteria doesn't know that yet. Yeah, I was about to say, we don't want to be too far in front of them. <laughs> yeah, okay, so... I just want to hide them. With that in mind, um... We are going to go ahead and start, uh... Just kind of clockwise... Like this, for the time being. We, uh, could roll, huh? wait, we could roll um like character oh, yeah. initiative for like what we're doing here. Yeah, actually, do that. Do that. Roll, roll for everyone. Roll for initiative real quick, just to uh, just do like this this little small thingy majig. Oct. Yeah, like uh, in 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 in. in, in. That's a five. And I have wait, I have plus three, so. Oh wait, yeah, I didn't add anything to it. Um, I'm just gonna roll initiative in this. That's a ten. Okay, that's a little bit better. I got a nineteen total. Okay. You should be able to edit it. I can also edit it for some reason. Yeah, everyone has access to that. Don't worry, I won't mess around with that kind of stuff. No worries. Oh, wait, oh yeah, oh yeah. I gotta Hopefully. do it down here. You don't have to, no, no, you can just type it in manually if you did a rolling in person. I think I, I thought we were, we were in the uh, initiative in the chat. I forgot about that. Or is that are we doing that still? You don't need to pull it in Alberry. You can just roll it, whatever, and then just type it in. So it's not gonna put it in anyway. Well, so we know, so we keep track of our initiatives, like our numbers. Where are we like typing in? I'm lost on what you're asking. Oh no, like we. Usually, when we do initiative, we type it down somewhere so that way. Yeah, uh, there's an initiative. Uh, there's an initiative tracker right next to the dice. There's a. Wait, what? Oh. Yeah. So yeah. Left the, the I can't two. add oh. them. I can't add a oh. number to that. Oh, I. Oh, wait. How do you? No, it you literally just says initiative. Open a scene to use the initiative tracker. I got tracker. it. I just yeah. you can see all your things in there. Oh, thank. Okay, that makes sense now. I was like, oh, that, that, that's what I was trying to ask. Is like before we would type it in like general chat, but this actual we'll just initiative in the thing now. What does open a scene to use the initiative tracker mean? How do I open a scene? Click on your character token, and then the rightmost option is add to initiative. The rightmost option is delete. It says you already have it on there. You have nineteen. I didn't put that there. Somebody else. 19 oh, on there, but I don't know why you can't see it. Can you not click on the two swords thing? I yeah, can click on the two it. swords thing. Yes. And then, and then you could just uh, you could just click on the zero and then like. Yeah. No, I don't. I, I don't see a zero. Really? Do you not see a nineteen? I see. I it either. says initiative, and immediately under that, open a scene to use the initiative tracker. So do that. Yeah, you, how? Click on it. Okay, that closed it. Click on it, that opens it. Click on it, it closes it. Then that oh, yeah, was... only two options. Can uh -huh. you, are you sharing your screen right now? Oh, yeah, I, I, I can real fast. You won't be able to see it on the stream. Yeah, we're looking at the stream, but if you can move dust icon. No, I'm just going to share it in Discord. Real quick, um, uh, for the time being, uh, Rail, what did you roll for oh, initiative? Yeah. I see a six, but like, what, I don't, what's your modifier? Negative one. Hey, oh. Right, uh... Oh, huh, that's strange. Yeah, you don't see it at all. Yeah, no, I... yeah I'm, I'm getting the same thing as Al here. Huh. That's mm. fucking Al there. God damn it. Get your stuff right. Um. What do you think I don't pay you money to use your services for? 
I'm not sure what I did. I didn't really. Didn't do anything different. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that there, there, yeah, there was no permissions. Could you refresh the website? Maybe see if that does sure. something. Yeah, try try doing that. Maybe maybe that'll do it. The old fashioned turn it off it. and on. Uh, That's dice. Oh wait. Okay. Oh, there it is. That, I that told works. you it worked. It uh, works. Rail, try, try refreshing the page. Have you tried turning it off and on? <laughs> that's what I. That's like the. Per yeah. <laughs> that you know it. You, it always fucking works. It, um, it helps most problems that are you know happening, and I love it. I think I have the highest initiative modifier, and the fact that I'm the second lowest in the initiative is very sad. Don't you have the uh, the alert feet right? right that makes you. Yeah. No, I just have a plus four for my high dex. Oh, okay, okay. I thought I thought you had. I thought. You know, it's under the different campaign. I, oh yeah, my campaign. I had a. I used the alert one, and that was pretty dope. Bale's an artificer. Why does she have a minus one in dex? Because uh, I mean, she takes more. Puts more I stuff. Put into everything it. into constitution and intelligence. Oh jeez. <laughs> That's understandable. I'm very Constant. tanky and very smart, but I cannot move. <laughs> yeah, we, we need to get you some heavy armor, girl. Like, like I just something to ignore the decks. I have some heavy armor. I have, because I still have that one set from, like, the first session that was, like, the Adamantian. Oh, yeah, Adamantian. Does anyone wear armor? Huh? Can artificers even wear heavy armor? Yeah, like, but th there's armor. Are both armor, artificer, and battlesmith uh, get, gets one <clears> armor. Really? Yeah. yeah, if you need heavy armor, I've got one that has seven, uh, AC of 17, and you can't get crew. You, oh, you didn't put that on? Right, right. No, I'm wearing the uh, the half plate plus <laughs> one. Oh, okay, okay. So, I mean, Oops. shit, like, that, the, like, if you want to hand it off to a, to a rail, I can just uh, let y'all go ahead and do that right now. It takes, it, it takes 10 to 15 minutes to put armor on. That is true. And time is of the essence. It's so also heavy or oh. medium. Hmm? It's heavy oh. though. Yeah. It's heavy, uh, then artificers can't wear it. They can wear up to medium. It's battlesmiths can though. Well, actually, I'm not yeah. seeing your battlesmiths. Well, actually, it doesn't have matter because you can't put it on now anyway. <laughs> we'll, we'll figure it out later. Oh, yeah, no. we'll figure it out later. Well, well, no, you you are correct. Yeah, you're correct. Uh, they they they're still medium armor wearers. All right. I, I actually I actually am wearing medium armor right now. <clears throat> That's why I can drop my current plus one. Wait, why did I have the plus one for? Her? <laughs> oh no, it, it was special because I had the uh, the the bonus effect of imposing disadvantage on anybody attacking an ally. That's yeah. Why I okay. Did it. So let's continue. Yeah. Okay. So, um, all right. I mean, if that's that's uh, that's initiative, then y'all make it up to the top. Up to the top. So the initiative is Albert Sam. Um. I guess, uh, how far can I move? 30 feet? 30? No, no, I, I was, I wanted to see how far 30 feet was. Uh -huh. mm. That's 30. See the squares, That's right? 30. I will say, I don't love the rulers in this. They're a little bit bulky. They are a bit bulky. Yeah. That's why I usually just use square, square math. Every square is five I, I like it because it tells you the diagonals. Mm-hmm. Like, it'll, it'll, like, uh... Unless you're going around something, it'll tell you what the diagonal is. There's also the movement one, which lets you directly do, like, the... I guess I get there. Yeah. Because I'm just, I'm just continuing to approach. I haven't seen anything yet. Yeah, you can, keep, you can count, like, each square, and I know corners still count as <clears throat> five. Uh, next in the order is Walden. Are you gonna oh, hop over the barrier? I'm debating. Is it? You said I. Is it cost of? Do I? It's probably anything? an acrobatics check, and if you fail, you fall prone. Yes. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, acrobatics. I'm perfect at this. It is. It's what I would assume, but obviously acrobatics or athletics, both of them tend to be like pretty interchangeable. Yeah. Well, they're equal to me, so I'll. Wait, no, wait. Actually, athletics is plus five. Okay, let's do this. Plus. Uh oh, five plus five is ten. <laughs> oh, real, real quick, real quick. When you uh, when you're making like the die roll, like when you click the dice, you can actually like apply your modifier from the get go. What? Where? Yeah, like like um, when you click your dice, you can uh, what's it called? The, the bottom uh, you know, you you can click like what what type of die you're rolling, like a d twenty, like d hundred, you know, like all that shit. 
Uh, then at the very, very bottom, right before, like on top oh. of the roll, it says oh, disadvantage yes. or advantage, and then you have to like the actual, yeah. Oh, a suit me now. Okay, so oh it's my manual, God. but it is pretty interesting. Just oh, to have I got five. Okay. <laughs> I rolled another five, so it's still ten. it's still ten. Perfect. All right. I mean, yeah, you made it. You yeah. hop on over and don't get knocked prone and don't lose any movement. Yeah, I'm gonna use everything I got. Bonus action, ru running as far as I can go. Oh, you're dashing. All right. Yes. So, so that's double your movement. So that, that the the jumping down was like five or so feet. Oh, no, no movement. Anyways, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you're dashing, you get twelve squares. Twelve squares. Because it's six squares twice. I could be able to read. I can give Al a high five. Wait, are we? We were making use of uh actions. I thought we were just using straight movement at the point. I mean, you can dash. Yeah, yeah you you could you could yeah. cast you could cast spells or like do you know dash or do do like. Oh, okay, yeah, I, I probably would have dashed if I right, could recognize that. I wasn't aware of that. Uh, go go for it if you want. Yeah, like, go for it if you want. Like, All right, I'll just move myself. Y'all can continue. I am finished. Right. So I, about uh, wisteria. Stereo oh. like to use cunning action to bonus action dodge or bonus action dash to right here. Okay. Um do I see these things? Yes, you, you see you see these like these men, um these like figures standing still. Um currently no. just Yeah, just they're, they're standing like deathly still. Their shoulders are kind of like slumped downward. Uh, the, they, one of them is looking in your general direction, but he doesn't seem to have spotted you. He seems to be very, just, like, blankly staring off into something. How far away are they? Too far away for me to do that. Um. So I used my... Action to dash. I'm going to use my bonus action to expend one charge of my conspirator's coat. Um, bum, bum, bum. I'm just going to draw a couple circles to signify the three ravens that I get to summon from this. And I'm going to have them stealthily fly right behind this bush. All right. And then at the start of my next turn, I will instantly teleport to that spot. Okay. And that's my turn. Alright. Then, Rail. So I'm just gonna very swiftly walk over. This is gonna take a while. It's what, I can move 30 feet? You can yeah. move if you dash. You can dash as well, yeah. Okay, how far can I move if I dash? You double your movement, so you can move an additional 30 feet. 60 total. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, I'll dash over and jump over the railing. Oh. Do I think? Acrobatics or athletics? <laughs> Acrobatics or athletics. Also, roll for Mimi. Oh, oh god. god. Is Mimi yeah. gonna fall Mimi prone? Mimi's initiative, too. Oh uh, no, oh. Mimi shares Mimi shares your initiative. Um Mimi has a plus one dex. Actually they have a plus two athletics inherently. Uh plus two plus proficiency bonus for steel defender athletics. So she's definitely rolling better than you. Okay. Um mine was sixteen and then So Mimi is D twenty fifteen. Okay, so yeah, but both of them made it. At this point, Grumbo feels real silly using them store stairs. He's a dwarf. He's high high drops are not good for his knees. One, two, three, yeah, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, he's like, wait, <gasps> uh, uh, but in reality, what's it called? What he's doing right now is that he's uh, like, kind of like, he likes uh, uh, <clears throat> uh crushing. 
unseen currently, the five other dudes are currently like right around here. Like uh, the five dudes that were with Gumbo, uh, or right around here. Um, and he goes, listen, as soon as we man we get nearby, I need the five of you to run into the menagerie and make sure that everything is uh, okay and all the creatures are settled back into their cages. And they go, <laughs> and we're back at the top of the round. Top of the board. Uh, can I just, yeah. can I straight delay my turn? Like, I'm going to wait until other people move. Okay, yeah, you can delay to the end. Uh, yeah, you can delay it until the uh, end of uh, initiative. Yeah. I'd like okay. to do that. I don't. I. I. I know. Our Tam knows his strengths and is not in the forefront. Okay. No worries. <clears throat> um. Let me add Grandpa to this. Okay, he, he just uh, moved, moved up with like, like haste because there was blood and screaming and people needed help. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, uh Walden, it is your go, man. All right. Let's see here. Does anyone have tremor sense by any chance? <laughs> No. Okay, good. What do you have planned? No. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> Please don't introduce a purple worm. I'm not ready to face another one. Purple worm just crawling uh, through the wait, ground. Another Which... one? Let's um, see. yeah, no, I faced you off against two in Curse of Strahd that I shouldn't have been facing off against. That's one. Oh, you four. Four. That's amazing, but, uh, nah, nah. Don't, <clears> don't, don't, don't worry, nothing, nothing, nothing too bad, like a purple worm yet. As you will see our fucking 20 purple worms. I am Thanks, Richard. Move. Right here. Uh, just so you know, Walden, if you click on the measure tool, and then up at the top you can see a movement one, you can pick up your token and see exactly how much movement they've done with that. Oh, wait, what? Yes. Oh, I, I, I was just counting the... Uh, okay, the... I'm just letting you know if you wanted to do that too. You also have that. Wait, the measure? So hit measure, and then at the top there's ruler and movement. If you click the movement oh. one and then pick your character up, you can see... Oh, okay, that's, that's nice. I'll, yes. I'll keep that in mind. Wait, what? I'm not seeing that. I just see straight measure. Do you, do you measure see measure a... at the top what? of your screen. There's a ruler tool. And a oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. I wasn't looking in the right spot, so. Okay, okay, wow. thank you, thank you. Sorry. You can also press, like, M or R to, like, change them. Okay, All I would say is I prefer the way Roll20 does it. That's fine. Okay, anyways, I am so looking at them. They are aware because they're looking in our general direction. Uh, One of them is looking in general direction. The other's looking at the far... Um, hedge wall up here. This is elevated, mind you. Like, yeah, to get up to this area, you either have to go up, up the stairs up here or over here. So, like, this area is a little elevated, and that's partially why it is blocked off from sight at the moment. Okay, 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 okay. Well, to start off this fight, I. Oh, you're so, you're you're immediately starting to fight already. I want to I want to cast Eldritch Blast. But with my new powerful gauntlets of destruction, I'm gonna cast two beams okay. at two different people at the. Uh, how do I mark again? Uh, which ones are not aware? Who aren't looking at my direction? Uh, the only one that's kind of looking at is this one right here. As you okay. kind of like round the corner, you notice that there are two more dudes right here. I'm just gonna knock the the close with the other guy and that guy. I'm gonna hit each one. I want to okay. attempt to. So All right. How do I... Okay, let me see here. Where's the then... dice? Do the oh, modifier plus six. Oh, All right. Two of them. Each All right. Button. Now this is definitely going to get us copyright strikes. All right, all right. Three. No. Whoops. No, we're fine. I don't think we're actually going to be. Oh wait. Uh, yeah, I mean, like as long as we're not making money off it, right? Like, it should be fine. Uh, oh. Okay, that's actually that's actually kind of awkward. Uh, I forgot to combine the numbers. So one is a, the first one is an 18 plus six. That's 24. Okay, and that's uh, targeted at the this guy right here. Yes, and then the second one is eight plus six, and that would be 14. Okay. I'm assuming <clears throat> the first one hits. Uh, correct. So I am gonna be writing down how much uh damage they take under them, but you guys don't know how much, like, how total they have. Oh, yeah, so, I understand. So, uh, go ahead and uh, roll for damage. Alright. So that would be 1d4, 1d10 plus 4, plus 4. So 10. Getting straight into it. Gordon does not play around. He's <laughs> like, I see people that I don't know, I'm gonna <laughs> cackle. Strangers! Blast! 
14. 14. Okay. Wait, and... wait. Walden's literally Bobby Hill. That's my purse. I don't know. Oh, wait, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Try this right. If it's, if it's a taken into account my agonizing class. Oh, I think it is. I think. Yeah. Right. Otherwise, I wouldn't add your charisma. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that one, and then I have the the other one. The, the thing and the other one. Oh, the other one hit. Okay. Okay. What was the other one? The roll total again? Like eight plus 14. six? Yeah. yeah so it was fourteen. Wait. No. I'm sorry. That one did miss. That one did miss. All right. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, so the first one hit, and yeah. I'm gonna. How does my. How does that. Again? It's the. The knocks back. Uh, oh, yeah, 10 feet away. I'm gonna push him. Like, uh, oh. 10 feet away. There you okay. go. Okay. Alright. So, what's it called? As you round the corner, you um, extend your hands out with your, uh, your fancy new bracelets uh, equipped, and the runes on them start just glowing. <laughs> And you fire like two blasts. One of them going uh, wide on this guy, but the other hitting the 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 uh, the one that was slowly turning to like regard you square in the chest. It blows a hole clean through, and pushes him back. And he kind of like uh, does the kind of like the Matrix lean back, where like his entire like back, like his entire like top of his body is like you know, bent backwards, and he just snaps back, like, upwards. This time looking directly at you. And he lets out this just screech, uh, alerting the others. However, because uh, Walden kind of, like, got this little uh, sneak attack in, uh, oh, you guys do get a surprise round. Aha. So, roll for initiative. Wait, roll for initiative? Oh, yes. right. Combat initiative now. Correct. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's... <coughs> okay. I will say it's a bit Woo! lower. Oh baby. That was that's a one, so that's a four. I got a twenty-two. That is a four. Jesus. How do I change my number? Uh, click on your number Woo! and then just. Oh, oh right. I can't believe how okay. bad that was. Oh, so What's the shadowy stranger's dex mod? So mine's probably higher. Four. Uh, mine's Ooh. also four. Uh, roll 16. off. Sure. Uh, yeah. Hold on, hold on. And then... <clears throat> Mind you, uh, I'm, I'm rolling for each group. Not, not for, uh... Okay. Yes. In the, well, each individual. I rolled a three, so they'd probably go first. Or one maybe not, maybe not. Yeah. Hold on. Wait, number so big. Uh, uh yeah, 24. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, Name sorry. Roll. I, 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 I'm sorry. I was making a few hidden rolls, uh, so like uh, they're currently hidden. Let me, let me change that. I was more just asking. Um, I thought we were rolling off to see which twenty-two went first. Yeah, that's yeah. that's what he. That's what this one was. How'd you get a twenty-four on a d twenty? Yeah, no modifiers, friend. Just, just, just. Oh, right, 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 right. So yeah, that was just a twenty. Okay, well that's. I still rolled a three, so it doesn't matter. Uh, don't forget to roll for Grumbo, though. Yes. Grumbo. Don't forget Grumbo. Don't you worry. And you even though it's a surprise six. round, that means I still go ahead of them, right? Mm hmm? Yes. They're, they're, yeah, they get skipped, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Dust, when you have a moment. I don't want to know yes. whatever you're doing. Hello. Uh, can Alberton make a general per uh, perception check? Just to see if he hears anything... Any notable noises out of sight? Okay, yeah, of course. Because he, he's all like, our Tim's always like trying to be aware of his settings, so that's like he'd be listening in for like further information. That's why I wanted to ask. Uh, yeah, I mean, go go for it real quick. If you want to do that as a part of, I'll let you do that as a part of like your surprise round. Okay, that is that, and plus. Uh, I should clarify. What do you actually want me to roll for that? Uh, like, uh, like I mean, perception. Um, perception. Yeah. Okay, that would be a nineteen total. Okay, so, um, you start listening in, but I, I'll tell you exactly what you hear as soon as we get to your part of the uh, surprise round. Right back. No worries. No worries. Uh, so Wisteria, you are up next in the in the surprise round, I believe. Yep. So first, I'm gonna 
first, I would like to use my clever scoundrel ability to look at just like one of these enemies and try to discern something about them. All right. Um, go ahead and give me a knowledge check ba uh, based on whatever skill you think would be fitting here. I think insight. Okay. Is that okay. Mm hmm. That is a 24. All right. Um, On this you notice, okay, you notice that the others are kind of completely disregarding its injury, and furthermore, um, what's it called? Uh, the the they're kind of like sticking in in a very tight formation. Um, right. you suddenly recall the oh no no you weren't there for that so you don't get the, okay never mind. Uh, yeah, no, uh, as a current stance, that, uh, like, they're, they're standing in a very tight formation, drawing, like, long, wicked-looking blades. Um. Do I get the, um, you do get, I get the idea any part of their body is weaker than other parts of their body? Like, more susceptible to being hit? No, but you do, uh, get your choice between, uh, knowing their, um... Their AC, or whatever save is their lowest. I'd like to know their AC. Okay, oh, who lost? We lost... I don't know who we lost. Was Sama here? I thought Sama wasn't here. Was I, th I think she, she might have... She joined back at one point. Uh, oh, I didn't yeah. even notice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sama, she did the camera. Uh, their AC is 16. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, it had to be bigger than 14. So, at the start of Wisteria's turn, you're all going to see her vanish and appear up top on here, but the raven's disappearing. Using the conspirator coat, so now she is just up here. And that doesn't count as movement, since that's just like something that she did last turn. She's going to expend her bonus action to use steady aim, drawing her gun and taking a deep breath. And then she is going to fire a bullet directly at this one here, that Wolden hit. Okay. She does that with advantage. That is going to be a 25 to hit. That more than hits. Rolling damage. Sheesh. Uh, that is going to be 9 piercing damage and 1 fire damage. So 10 okay. damage total. Okay, so uh, it is up to... Okay. 24... <clears throat> no, wait, whoops. What the hell? Oh. Um, it is up to 24 damage taken so far. Mm -hmm. All right. And then uh, you, see her... you cap him. You cap him square in the head. Um, like the the your fiery bullet uh, from your gun, leaving like a bit of a scorch mark, like on on like the hole it just opened up in its mask. Um, looking into it as he like looks up at you, you see nothing. Just like a void. Can I roll another insight check? Next turn. Next turn. Okay, I wanted to learn a different <clears throat> thing. Okay. Um, Walden, I believe, if I understand the rules correctly, I believe since you're the one that initiated the surprise round, you don't get to go around this time. No problem. Yeah. That's what yeah. I was going to assume anyway. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, so, Rail, you are up. Mm -hmm. Okay, then. I'm going to use a spell. I'm going to use uh, Heroism on Mimi. Mm. That's that's great. I, lo I love Hero <laughs> Mimi. <laughs> Wait, what's Mimi's AC? Do we know that? Uh, it's a general steel defender at the moment, I believe. General steel defender steel. is... 15. Yeah. 15. That is going to be able to be modified later on. Um, like, if you want Mimi to be, like, a stealthy, like, uh, what's it called? Like, striker? More like damage, to, almost like a rogue? Uh, you can, like, build Mimi a, a uh, like, a uh, striker exoskeleton that gives Mimi, like, more, like, stealth bonuses. Like, higher dexterity. Even, like, a minor stealth, like, <clears throat> a sneak attack. Or you can make Mimi into, like, a just giant tank. Like, think think, like... I think like a fucking um like a bear, but like Mimi. 
Yeah, any shell for Mimi works. Yes. Literally, Very like, the, the sky is the limit when it comes to, like, Mimi, Mimi shells. I am more than happy to come up with any random bullshit for this, because it's, it's funny as fuck to me. Can a steel defender ever gain flying speed? With the correct shell. Okay. Hmm, I'm interested. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> so, uh, heroism on Mimi, and I guess HP, and then Mimi goes right after me, right? Mm-hmm. You do also get your movement, by the way. Like, you, it doesn't uh, like re remove your movement uh, to like cast the spell. So, like, you always get like a movement, uh, an action, a bonus action, and a reaction. Yeah, I'll move up a bit then. I do Over. want to specify it can only take a uh, Mimi can only take an action if you use your bonus action to command it to do so. Otherwise, it'll just follow uh, like along and like attempt to help. Yes. Okay. Uh, so cast heroism on Mimi. Walk up a bit, and for Mimi's turn, gonna walk up a bit as well. Mimi has a speed of forty. Yeah, Mimi fast. Yeah, she's faster than me. She's faster than all of us. not in melee trying. range. Can Mimi dash? None of us, none of us are... Uh, uh, Mimi could dash. If, if you use her bonus action to command her to dash, then yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, but then I wouldn't be able to attack with her, would I? No, no but... get her closer to the fight. And I believe yeah. her heroism was going to like help her like survive, too, because that increases... Uh... Temper HP each turn. Yeah. Okay. And you can, don't get fired. Send Mimi right up into the fray. She's a frontliner now. <laughs> yeah. Mimi is our tank. They took me So, what's her spellcasting modifier? Because uh, she just gained that much. Intelligence, so plus four. Plus four. Okay, so she gained four, um, four extra hit points that are gonna refresh every turn, which is that's gonna that's gonna add up. Yeah. That's gonna add up. Stack. Okay. Refreshing temper HP is like top tier right there. Oh yeah. shit, I realized I should have had a higher to hit with my gun. I you think Annie has a whole lot of oh. HP on her own. Let's just hope these guys don't hit too hard with their cool looking metal sword that's curved and ugly looking. I don't know. And then I think next in the initiative is Grembo. Yes. Grembo is just gonna go ahead and dash, um, and, like, just charge <coughs> 60 feet. Um, seeing the dog just fucking, like, rush ahead, uh, uh, is making him, like, you know, like, um, just sprint. Um, he takes out his, like, brass knuckles and, um, you know, starting to, like, kind of, like, get, go into, like, a boxer stance. Um, as he does, uh, he yells back to, like, his little men, uh, and he's like, uh, we'll cover you! Just get into the menagerie now! And uh, his men are just like you know Russian. I thought they were dwarves. Oh, they're they're men. No, they're... you said they're Russian. I was making a joke. <laughs> oh, hoo, 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 ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, Russian dwarves is a, a untapped market, man. Like... <laughs> Stole. <laughs> All right, go go ahead. Uh, it is your go. All. Um, I am going to use a bonus action. To uh, inspire, um, uh, utilize bardic inspiration. <clears throat> Fucking gnaw the arms off, Mimi! Uh, I don't want to. <laughs> so, uh, Rail, on your turn, uh, Mimi can use a d6 after the fact, right, Dust? After the fact, like if you roll poorly, you can decide to add the bardic inspiration after that. I believe Before so. Before the results. Yeah. One more time? I didn't- I Before didn't, no Sorry. Before knowing the results, I believe. I thought you could oh. roll it after. Let me check real quick. Um, I, like, I, you, like, I, I, rolled a 12, and then you wouldn't know if it hit. I mean, you can- Oh, no, no, it, it, it can wait until after it rolls, yeah. But it- it, uh, it can wait before it- uh, or after it rolls, but before- I tell you whether it fails or succeeds. Got you. Okay, so if you fail, if you feel that Mimi rolled low on whatever you have Mimi do, you can have her roll a d6 and add that to your overall roll. 
And I'll also say we know for a fact these things have an AC of 16. No, no, no. Yeah. You know that for a fact. Fair. I haven't told anyone yet. <clears throat> uh, that, I mean, so that's my bonus action. And, um... I'm going to use my action to cast Vicious Mockery on... Give me a moment, I'm actually have to re read on Vicious Mockery. 1d4. Uh, they have to make a Wisdom Saving Throw or take 1d4 Psychic Damage and have disadvantage on the next attack roll they make before the end of their next turn. Uh, what was this on? I, I was just rereading... Uh, uh, this is mockery. Okay. I'm gonna use it on. It has a range of 60 feet, so can I target that? Oh, whatever that works too. Is that what's safe? Hey, Bubs. Uh, so I can hit them all. Um, I'm gonna hit this one. Oh, I can't click it. The the one closest to the menagerie. Okay, gotcha. And uh, is that it's um? That's a wisdom save, yes. Okay. Well, you look like an undead uh. fuck. He rolled a 20. Of course he did. Dust, I oh, think you have to re-roll again. You rolled two 20s for these guys already. What? <laughs> yeah, you rolled a you 20 on your fucking, uh, the the roll off for oh, yeah. initiative. That's a lot of 20s. To be fair, it wasn't a good insult, so whatever. Uh, that's the end of my turn. <laughs> it, it, it shrugged it off. Yeah, you, you gotta you gotta get to know him. <laughs> Alright. That was on the So, uh, okay. Uh, that is the- we're back to the top of initiative. So, Wisteria? <clears throat> no. Shadow people. Nope. Oh, they got skipped. Yeah, that that is uh, what's it called from um, because of a uh, um, surprise. Surprise. Supplies. If and the then... surprise round is over, that means that they're back on top. Yeah. Yes. So it's their go, not yeah. mine. Oh, they're oh yeah, they're what? above you. Yeah. Was there a lost roll off? Oh, right, 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 yeah, right. So, three. <laughs> I, I was gonna say this is twenty three for now. Um. Yeah, that makes it easier. That's so, Wisteria, from up there, you see. That there aren't more than four. Oh. There's just a horde of oh. them, like, spread oh. around, like, the penthouse area. But they seem focused around the ledge up here. Which, mind you, now that you're standing on top of the, um, the, the hedge, you're starting to kind of, like, get in a, like, a, a better look at, like, you know, what, the, the lay of the land. Um, specifically, you notice a figure over here large it looks very large um and furry just you know chilling you can't quite make out what it is but you assume fairly safely that it's something from the menagerie oh. as you thinking that uh what's it called uh, uh these things start just booking it 35 feet. It's going to be right here. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and two of them uh, that are within a range, um, specifically these two, are going to go ahead and look up at you and throw throwing daggers at you. Random bullshit go. Random bullshit go <laughs> indeed. Go for it. Uh, 16. Hit. And 12. Not hit. Okay. Um, so a throwing dagger is uh, 1d4, I believe? Yes, if it's a regular dagger that is thrown, it's d4. Yeah, plus, plus 4. Dexterity or it's a finesse weapon, so whichever. So 7 damage. Yikes. Is that max damage? Uh, no, almost. Seven damage. So Christ. as, as, what's it called? Seeing one of its companions, like hit, or, or like draw blood. Um, th one of the others, well, the closest one is going to immediately move up as well, like fifteen feet. Moving. <clears throat> are they moving? Are they moving like? This is a weird question. Are they moving like normal people? Um, so, do you... Have you ever played Dead by Daylight? No. Okay. <laughs> Not that game at all. <laughs> Nobody plays that. 
So, okay, there is a, a killer that you can play in that game called the Legion. They, for the most part, move the exact same. Like, 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 people, but, but, like, a little bit weighty, like, like, weightlessly. Like, it, it, it almost seems like, 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 you know, a, a, a breeze could, like, knock them over. But, you know, they're just kind of, like, like, just floating, like, a little bit. Their movements are just a little bit floaty to the point that they're like unnerving, but they're close enough to hum like normal human movements. Wait, they even look like them. Yeah, that was an unintentional, honestly. Like, I realized way after the fact that like I accidentally designed the fucking Legion from what's it called? Sense of um, if they're like moving like mannequins or anything of that sort. Not quite. Okay. Uh, but the, the, the most mannequin-esque, or like the most unnatural movement that happened was this one shrugging off the, um, the what's it called, um... Being hit and like... Yeah, being hit in the chest. Yeah. Matrix <clears throat> falling back, but then like, getting, like, like, recovering and going like straight up. Yeah. Um, exactly. Uh, so now it is your go. Okay, first I have a mechanics question. Okay. So, reading the text of the conspirators' coats... While wearing the coat, you can use a bonus action to use the charge, releasing up to three ravens, blah, 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 blah. At the start of your next turn, the ravens vanish and you reappear in the space of one of your ravens. So, reading this the way it is, if I use this, I cannot be attacked until the start of my next turn, because I vanish. Or, conversely, we can rules as intended it and just say it's basically just a 40-foot misty step. That's kind of how I saw it. I yeah, mean, if you can't get attacked, that, if you can't get attacked, that would also mean you can't attack because you're yeah, not exactly. It's kind of like the dragoon jump in like old Final Fantasy games, where like you know you were kind of trading off like <clears throat> being able to attack for a turn to like not be attacked. You know, it's like a, it's like hyper beam. So no, 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 it's not. It's not that. It's a bonus action to cast out the ravens, and then at the start of my turn, I'm pulled away, but I still have my full action. Right, right, you do cast the ravens out. Yeah, here, I'll even copy the text into general, just so you can look at it. This is exactly off the Griffin Saddlebag thing. So it says, you can expend one of his charges to disappear, releasing up to three ravens, blah, 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 blah. I think it's saying that basically I possess one of the ravens and end up wherever it is at the start of my next turn. But that feels a little broken because that essentially just means I can just link into the ethereal plane for a little bit. That that sure is a thing that could happen, haha. Which is why I don't necessarily think that's fair, because that means that I can, if I use that every turn, I can't get hit. Yeah, no, for the most part, I, I, I would just consider it a, a like, misty step. Like, the, the, the what's it called, um, a misty step that you can, like, pick where to go, like, one out of one to three spots, like, you know, after the fact deeper question on that. A raven is a creature. Creatures have actions. Can these ravens dash? No, they can only move 40 feet. Okay. Now that I know all that, um, I would like to do my clever scoundrel again. Rolling another insight check. That is a 22, and I want to figure out the best way to take these things down. Or the best thing to do in this situation, maybe. Your weakest uh, mm. thing. Okay, what's your roll? Uh, I rolled a twenty-two. Okay, uh, I mean you can uh, guess one, or you can kind of like surmise one of the weaknesses. Okay. Given the sh just you know, b being pretty big brain as Wisteria is, she looks in at like the injuries caused like by on this one right here, like the the just like wisping shadows pouring out from its chest as well as it's like a, a, like faceplate where you shot it um you can kind of assume that they're most likely weak against radiant damage well of course the one thing i can't do um i am going to Bonus action, oh, break step. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. One last thing. Ow. Yeah. You, hear, you hear two distinct sounds. Oh, right, right. 
as a part that, of what you're doing. That's why I did it to. earlier, so I didn't forget. Yeah. And then I forgot anyway. <laughs> um, you hear two distinct sounds. You hear, like, one of them sounds like skittering, like, almost like scratching on the tile nearby. And the other sound is... You hear almost like 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 a like a a soft cooing, uh, almost almost um, um, I don't know how to explain it. Like 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 like, like pained, like uh, it's 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 like a soft like very soft. Whimper. Um, not not quite whimpering, but definitely like a a sorrowful like coo. Okay. That pigeon. Um. You said I heard skittering. Uh... The skittering is coming from this general area. Okay. The cooing is coming from here. Okay. And we were, are we to go to the menagerie, or are we to stay here? Huh? Well, I mean, y'all are getting, like, you know, kind of swarmed at the moment. Like, uh, the menagerie is a place that you could go to, <clears throat> like, as soon as it's uh, cleared out, maybe, but... Okay, are we supposed to be fighting right now, or are we supposed to be running? Uh, I mean, uh, y'all y'all are more than capable of fighting this. Okay. He believes I... in us. God believes in us. We could do I it. I do, indeed. Um... How wide are these arches right here? Like, are they standonable? Or rather, are they grippable with handable? Okay, so the front one you can definitely stand on top on, on top of the um, the ones in the back you can probably hang off of. Okay, I think Wisteria is going to uh, leap off the top of the hedge, moving five feet forward, Raven step to oh. to this one grabbing it upside like reaching up grabbing it and hanging from it drawing her gun with the other hand and shooting at the one that she's already hit okay go for it wait no i have to ask did you move in and out of somebody's attack range by doing that no uh she's high up she's like raven uh, step right you didn't you don't walk you did a thingy i don't know what that means we're gonna gonna call it raven step just because it is essentially it's a it's a it's a missy step yeah and it says don't provoke opportunities yes well, it says the Ravenstone, but I mean, I just teleport technically, so it's yeah. Um, I'm thinking of like, like, is that a, it's, uh, yeah. like or an ability or it's it's a magic item. Yeah, I wrote uh... I drew it in on yes, yeah, grippable with handable. Um, <laughs> fire my gun at them. Does it, that doesn't hit? Oh, we lost one. And with that, does uh, good tonight. I got a fourteen to hit, so that's not going to do anything. Dust? Hello, yes. Uh, good, you're back. Yeah. Um... I gotta replay the object. So what did I intuit from my roll then? I can't remember. There, Radiant little, damage. More ravens. Radiant damage. Okay. I cannot control these ravens. Can you not? Nope. That's stupid. That's fine. Um... Oh, here, yeah, here, hold on. <clears throat> Making you the uh, owner. Wonderful. I'll just keep these like on the field whenever. Yes. Okay. You have birds too. Oh, right. He has ravens as well. I don't. I'm not sure if it's a raven. It's more like a weird creature that follows me around. Okay. It's got a little mask. <laughs> so I included radiant damage. I don't think there's anything else I can do with my turn. Can I pull myself? up onto this one and like try to like jump onto this one <coughs> uh i mean i feel like that'd be an action if like you're currently like if you're if you have your hand like currently full then I like mean, can i can i hang here then yes okay and then that's all with my turn okay then walden it is your go wait oh yeah there you went. okay all right the way that i'm thinking is if we can keep our squishier people safe, we can do this. So, where's that ruler at? Utilize this for the first time. Ruler. Stand by. Oh, oh that's too far. Hmm. Hmm. I say back up, Mimi. I just showed up. So I, I want to get towards where you are, but I, I want to like, see this less. If we can get right here first, if we can, like, go right here, 
we can like lower the amount of people that come at us. True. Instead of getting surrounded, they have to come in from one direction. Door blocking. Door stuck. Door stuck. Door stuck. Door but stuck. In the meantime, I'm gonna make sure this guy dies this time. Double beams towards the damaged one. Oh, uh, towards both? Well, okay. Just the, the single one. Yeah. Double beams. Finish them off. Okay, so how does this... One of these days, they'll hopefully make it beyond 20 can be compatible, so I can just do it off one button. Okay, plus... No, plus six. We'll do one at a time, so... One sixteen, so that hits. That's, that definitely hits. And then the other one is... Oh. Oh! Oh, fuck. Oh, no, that's not good. <laughs> well, oh, that's a... One. Oh, that's not That's a net one. That's, that's the worst possible solution. So I'm going to take some damage from that. So the first one hits, I'm going to do some real damage for that one. Oh, no. That's <laughs> eh, fine, I got a lot of HP. Okay, so plus four, and then d20, and then roll. 14 damage. Okay, so, um, two things are gonna happen here. First of all, um, you take 17 damage, uh, necrotic damage. 17? Um, what the... Yeah, it's, it's, what's it called, um, 3d12 oh, necrotic only... damage. Yeah, it was like 1d, wait, was it 1d, 1d10 plus 3? Uh, no, no, but, but what's it called, um, uh, when you roll a 1, you take 3d12 necrotic damage as the gauntlets, like, like, start zapping you. Oh, shit. Uh, that being said, you, <clears throat> like, oh, this... was... Wait, you said oh, 3d12? No. Holy shit, yes. you got lucky, bro. Three, you could've three, died three, right there. That's Wait, a I thought lot it was, of damage. A I thought it was 1d10 plus 3. Bro. Oh my god. Plus, I'm looking at the wrong one. No, that, that's how much damage you do, like, normally. Like, like the thing is that, like, uh, the gauntlets let you reroll once for damage, but, uh, with, with the Eldritch Blast, but, like, the problem is that, like, rolling a nat 1, like, overcharges them and, like, explode on you. And, yeah. like, so, what's it's... it called? They start draining your life. So they drained, um, 17 health off of you. But, uh, and you start feeling it, like, as, as you're, what's it called, like, just, you know, your hands start growing, like, a paler, like, grayish-blue color, but you still manage to shoot out last that, uh, how much damage did you do? Uh, 14. 14. Okay. Um, Wait, you're, you're, I was looking, the one I got from the web, uh, the one that was on Reddit is the right one, but I found it on Beyond 20, but they had the wrong damage received one. Ah, uh, gotcha, gotcha. Well, um, what's it called? The, um, the blast that you, like, do manage to get out, um, completely take off this thing's, like, torso. Like, like from the top of the body, just gone. Uh, there's only, like, smoldering legs, like, shooting out, wisping shadows, and it just topples over. Be gone, fiend. Wait, how much damage did I take from myself? 17. Oh, that's, that's not too bad. 17. Math. Okay. So, I'm at 35. Oh. Alright. That is your turn. Um, that is my turn. These guys are gonna move one, wait, one, two, three, four, five. One, we're gonna move right here. And this one is going to... Okay. It's gonna step out here. Uh, and the first one, the one near you, Walden, is gonna swing at you with his dagger. That thing's tiny. What do you expect to do with that? Nah, oh, man, that's huge. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, got an 11, so that definitely missed. Yeah, I mean, and big numbers. the second one is, is a swing at Mimi. And critically fails. So it goes to swing at Mimi, and instead someone gets its, like, arm lodged inside of one of Mimi's many mouths. <laughs> uh, making it take, uh, ch -ch 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 -ch, let's say, 1d6 for 5 acid damage. 
acid. Yes. Ouch. And the, uh, what's it called? The one uh, that is a bit further away is going to attempt to throw a dagger at Wisteria again, and it misses with a seven. However, as it misses... As it misses, um, like, it starts letting out this, like, high-pitched, almost like, and it starts, like, doubling over in pain. Oh, well, a high-pitched, like, like, just screech, and it starts doubling, and it starts doubling over in pain as it takes nine psychic damage. It took nine psychic damage from missing? Mm, not quite. <laughs> ten, ten for tantrum. I, I mean, yeah, like, I get upset when I miss too, but not to take nine damage. I can kill two commoners. <laughs> it's uh, really upset. Just. Hello. Um. Uh, when the one sat next to Mimi that struck Mimi missed and um, its arm landed in Mimi's acid, did it seem to react to that pain at all? Not at all. Not at all, okay. It didn't react whatsoever. Okay. Uh, Rail, it is your turn. Okay. I am going to move on over <coughs> here. Just step on Grimbo's head like a Goomba. <laughs> I jumped over Grimbo. <laughs> okay, I'm going to move over there. I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on Walden. So this doesn't happen again. We don't, up, the, <laughs> we don't end up losing him to another nat one. Dude, the chances of this happening, like, oh, it's one or two, is beyond. I'll, I'll take damage from one or two uh, damage rolls, but that's only like a 10% chance. Well, actually, that's even less because I have- I don't like that chance. Ra By the way, Rail, I, I didn't ask uh, about like your preparations and stuff. Have you enchanted your weapon at all, or like, uh, you have, um, like your, your uh, artificer infusions? Have you used any of those? I haven't thought to prepare one yet. Ah, uh, gotcha, gotcha. We've had the um, perfect time when we had that rest at the hotel, but I just... Forgot, it's okay. I forgot about it's it. it. No worries, right. no worries, we'll, we'll get it done. Is it a 7 you healed me for? 7 plus my modifier, so that's 11. 11? Oh, damn. That's almost all, all the deck. 11, uh, 46. I mean, I have a lot of HP, so I'm, <clears throat> I'm pretty good. I'll, I'll be good. Thank you. I'm gonna knock some, well, they don't have really, these things don't even have skulls, they're just, it's just a... It's a, like black smoke. I can't yeah. break these smoke guys' skulls. Them. Well, I guess we gotta vape them. Yeah, they beat the tar out of them? Look at him in the eyes. Well, they're masks. I'm gonna okay. smoke you. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, are, are you gonna? Was that your action? Yeah, that was my action, and I'm gonna okay. use my bonus action to make me me attack. Hell yeah! Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna yeah, use force empowered rend. Uh, it's one d eight plus proficiency. Or I have to roll for hit first, right? Yes. 17. 17 hits. Nice. Okay. Uh, 2 plus proficiency. Okay, that's 4. And can I add that bardic inspiration on? Uh, I can you add it for damage? I actually don't remember. Uh, it's for damage or hit? It's, like it's, only hit. it's only for hit, I believe. It's to get yeah to avoid getting hit. I think if you're no, it was... I can open the book real fast. Give me just a second. I know there's two things you could use it for. It's ability check, attack roll, or saving throw. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, sadly Mimi does bite down, and it did what four damage? Four damage. I need to upgrade Mimi's jaws. It's a pitiful amount of damage, Mimi. It is, um, you know, damage that is not commonly resisted, at least. Okay, so, with that, 
a an ear piercing screech sounds from like up north. As Wisteria, you can still kind of make out that like mound of fur that you saw before. And Alratem, the well you can only assume it was the source of that cooing comes just barreling out from the like over uh, the hedges. Wait a minute. That's yep. Dauntless. That's, Grembo, that's like an it, it is I love Dauntless, but uh I've used this monster a few times and I, I it's one of my favorites. So What is it oh it is Dauntless because I saw the floating islands. So Grembo looks at it and goes Well, the gods for Fen. The Shrikes got out. <laughs> and he looks at he looks and he looks at um at you guys and goes if if a Drake or a Wyvern is an owlbear, then that thing is like a dragon. And it lands. And immediately, with like just an ear piercing screech rolls to attack this here poor sod getting an 18 to hit and scoring nine damage or with its beak oh wait it does with its beak uh and then um, as a legendary action, it looks at the very conveniently lined up dudes here. <laughs> and... <laughs> oh no. <laughs> conveniently indeed. <laughs> Where... Oh no, ow. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm so ow. glad I moved that 10 feet. Oh, hey guys, I... it might be time to go now. I was right here. Oh fucking <laughs> Christ. I'm glad I so, moved 10 feet. What's it called? Um. Uh, the feathers on its back start glowing this like bristling purple. And like, like static, oh, the smell of ozone starts filling the air. As it opens its beak and just a mass of lightning shoots out. Um, where the fuck is? <laughs> oh my god! Uh, and they have to do a what's it called dexterity save. Uh, okay. Just for the Fail. sake of continuity, they are trapped. Huh? Two of them. The top two. Or like, like there's two of them where they're surrounded both left and right. Three yeah. of them. So maybe impose disadvantage. I don't know. I'm just seeing like the bushes. Like you can't dodge oh, really to listen, decide. Listen, listen, man. I was I was going from the bottom up, and fail, 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 succeed. So uh, I, I mean, guess it, that it, works. It, 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 it doesn't matter anyway. Um, <clears throat> Y'all want to know why uh, I prefer lightning bolt over fireball. what's it called? Fireball, yeah. You can control who you hit. Um, partially, partially. Also, it's lots of dice. More numbers. So, um, this guy takes what is that? Uh, seventeen or twenty-seven times or divided by two. That's yeah, thirteen and a half, so fourteen. And the rest take what's it called? Uh. 27. 27 damage. I've never been glad, more glad we have 10 feet in my life. Holy shit. <laughs> well, yeah, so that was uh, its legendary action, and the Shrike is now just, you know, out and about. Alright, let me check something really fast. How high is my handle, ha animal handling skill? We need to get out of here <laughs> now. I mean, we befriended me. Uh, yeah, we can we can befriend him. We'll be fine. No, Our you plus... don't understand. Luca didn't like taming creatures. He liked having them. 
This thing is not trained. Is this, is this just free speak action? Or like, I'm not talking because like, we we're in the middle of combat, but like, are we in free speak? Yeah, yeah, y'all y'all can y'all can like banter in the in the, like in the meantime. No, uh, but really if we're not allowed to talk in combat at all. Yeah, but uh, a uh, Grembo is now what's it called the uh like up on board, and he's gonna be like, holy hell, well, he moves over here. Uh, and what's it called? Uh, yells up to um, uh, a Wisteria. There were two of them. The, uh, this one is this one was always a bit more uh, the more gentle one. The if the other one is still out and about, then I I, I sure fucking hope we can get out of here of uh, uh, before you know it, it decides to roll around. Do that being said, here. That being said, it uh, this one was bonded to Luca a little bit more than than the other one. It, it seemed to actually enjoy his company a bit, so I, I I'm not sure. I'm not sure how or why I decided to stick around, but uh, in any case, and he just goes to deck the uh, the dude in front of him with his uh, brass knuckles. Do we need to get Luca out of here? Is he in danger too? Absolutely, twenty cool. altogether. Uh, so that's not a crit. That's just a normal twenty. Um, cool. and for and he, my man, is gonna go ahead and uh, divine smite. Oh, he's a paladin? He is a paladin. I always knew it. That's perfect class for a realm. For uh, a total of 14 damage. Yes. So, um... It's he, radiant. Oh, it was, it was, it was oh you're radiant. right! It is, in fact, radiant damage, which means that... Uh, the radiant portion of the damage gets doubled. So that's 8 plus 10. No. 14. So 24 damage. So he punches this, uh, his, like, a fist glow in, in a, like, soft, silvery blue light and punches this thing, um, square in where I, you know, technically speaking, the jaw would be. And, like, its entire body just, just, like, dematerializes. I'm gonna go ahead and, for the sake of convenience, delete this guy and move this guy here. So uh, this is the, the tr initiative is being tracked off of this guy. Oh, I meant to ask, uh, did the three guys who got hit for full amount, are they gone? Huh? The light um, light. they're still alive. Yeah, they're still, they're still up, but a little crispy. Okay. Yeah. More than a little crispy, they're, they're, oh. they're pretty fried. Like yeah. Um, uh, I'll work hang. You are up, but before you start moving, you once again hear the skittering. Like oh, just Christ. like 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 a scratching and and like specifically right here, what's it called? Um, like something like just cr like crashing up uh, over the top of like the the hedge. Fucking Christ! <laughs> uh, I'm obviously looking at the shadowy strangers right now, but I'm gonna take a glimpse behind me to see what, like like just for like half a second and look and see what the fuck is towering over the heads at the point behind me. You see nothing. Why did you have to do it like that? Did you have to swallow the mic when you said it? I'm not scared enough. Fuck, yeah. I almost got zapped by a lightning bolt and, like, blasted. And then you're like, you hear things, but you see nothing. Fucking Christ. Um, Jesus Christ. It's a Marvel movie. <clears throat> it's behind me, right? It's... Oh, fucking hell. I had ideas, but then you threw more things at me, and now my ideas don't work as well, because I have to take that into account. Um, you should probably work towards the, uh, the menagerie. That's not probably the best goal right now. Take care of the two in front of us, then get the fuck out. We can't just escape to the menagerie. Like, in my mind, we have to confront that beast. These guys are very clearly... I'm just talking, like, Titus thoughts. Um, like, these guys are clearly trying to prevent us from getting the Luca. The bird is... Clearly trying to bring us from getting to Luca. We have to get to Luca. <clears throat> I think we don't have. I think if we fight this thing, we're going to die. Maybe one or two of us. We'll like I, sacrifices. I agree with the goblin here. We should get out of here. What's the point in escaping to the Again, this is out of character, but like, 
What's the point in escaping to the menagerie where there's just a whole more litany of creatures released? Closer to Luca. We're Isn't... closer to more people that might be able to save us. The, the five stooges. Those five stooges are grunts. They might not even have four health. <laughs> hey, it's, yeah, it's at least... They have the ability to take hits for us. It's at least, you know, it, it may be four HP, but that's still a, an attack. Um... Oh, I see that as an extra four HP. I don't. I yeah. don't normally take this. Actually, long. I apologize. No, it it's okay. Like I'm, I'm more than happy to give y'all like some what's it called? Uh, um, some choices. I like choices. Choose your own adventure. Oh, oh! I'm so glad I remembered this. Uh, I don't know how you want to make me use it in my turn, but Albertam has a feeling there's magic afoot here and he wants he has a feeling that these creatures are not real per se they're of magical origins and he wants to i want to roll an arcana check or like some sort of magic check to see if i can garnish anything about the magicalness of these creatures i don't know if you want me to use that as an action bonus action or a free action do it as an, do it as an action uh like uh, wisteria so, so full, full disclosure, uh, oh, like me and me and Opal did work on making Wisteria effectively like a a a, a class that kind of fit her a bit better because <coughs> she's not quite a rogue, not quite a ranger, uh, and so like as a part of that, we did give her like this like kind of like recall knowledge as a free like action type like you know extra ability that uh, kind of like just like learn, uh, you know, it can, it can, it can kind as of like size actions, up like you use that in attack in the same turn though. Yeah, yeah same, as, as, as bonus. Same thing I get just at the start of every turn, I can roll to learn things about my enemy. So I'm using a bonus action. Uh, you would be an action because, I'm... like, you're you're yeah you're you're a bard, not a. This is uh... my specialization. It's literally like my signature thing. Magic's yeah. my specialization. I don't know what the fuck that means, but okay. Magic's your specialization, but reporting would... enemies is mine. Yeah, I would say like your specialization is more like um, you know, just general. I like, like charming. I personally like to think that uh, Alvertam is very magically adept. Just as just as a general note, that doesn't mean no, anything. Dumb, I just yeah. want to throw it out there. Also, I I yeah, like to no, think no, that, that they're fits. barely magically adept. And that general fits. note to you, it sounds like you're trying to cast detect magic without using a spell slot. So I actually don't have that. Otherwise, I probably would. I literally what I just wanted to see what I can garnish. I guess no, you're right. No, I, that doesn't fit right. I shouldn't do that then. It is detect magic without detect magic. Okay, never mind. Um, the winds are howling as a. What's it called? The uh, you know, like the the sun still continues to rise. Sunset yeah. rises. Oh fuck yeah, it's more just sit. Yeah. Uh, what's it called? <coughs> uh, I I, for, I forgot to mention, but like you guys are like are at the top of the hotel, so like the what's it called? Um, like you guys are above like the the smog and like the the cloud cover, so you can see like past into like other skyscrapers and the you know further out into the city. Man, if only we were fighting on the other side, we could have been pushing these clowns off the edge. Yeah, I could put that. I mean, you could was, have. Not exactly. I mean, we've been pretty far away from the menagerie to escape. Um. Wait, I can see my house from here. Feet. Oh, wait, I don't have a house. <laughs> can I see my house from here? Do I know where your CEO's deli is from here? Uh, you get, you know, you know, like, the general, like, direction of, uh, towards your CEO's thing. Sick. Uh, I can see all the way with my special goblin eyes. I see into his window and he's making a bacon, egg, and cheese. Look. Look with your special goblin eyes. <laughs> My house. Um, going from behind. Is that, is that a bonus action? No, that's an Which action. One? Uh, no, I was wondering if Mrs. Market was an action or bonus action. I couldn't remember. Mm. Um, do I have any bonus action spells? Uh, Dust, can we reflavor that your CEO doesn't run a deli? He runs a bodega. I uh, I kind of figured <clears throat> it was gonna be the both like. It's 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 hard to like run one or the other without like you know. Okay. Okay, so I move twenty feet uh, to where I am. I'm going to strike the one in between me and Mimi with my what's it called with Medjo's blade. Is that a plus one rapier? I can't remember. It is not because it uh, is what's it called a uh, like heavier like it hits harder than a. Okay, so it's not a plus one. So. Um. Also, general rule question, are we doing flanking rules? Not, um, not, not to people who don't have actual flanking, no. Yeah. We don't have any rogues. So Wait, really? are you... Yeah, no, that's only really... a rogue thing. No, 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 yeah. no, that's your sneak attack. Flanking is like a variant rule in 5e where 
if you are have like a person on both sides of an enemy, you get advantage. Yeah, go for it. Go okay. for it. Like I, I, I normally play with the what's it called? Um, with um, uh, like like you know Pathfinder and Pathfinder tends to have like thingies. Yeah. Oh. That's because oh, my other two okay. That was that. Was... Like, I don't roll? I rolled a one and a nineteen. <gasps> I don't know oh, which no. was first. I rolled them at the same time though. Um. Were you no, uh oh. It was just a 19, plus 5, so 24 to hit. Oh, yeah, definitely hit. Advantage. Oh, yeah, this is the advantage. And then. That's 2d6. Yeah, the cool. music changed. Why? I don't feel. Why are drawing and slurring? Uh, that is 9 damage. Uh, so close to the double. Okay. Then, uh, yeah, go, uh, hold on. What is... No, <coughs> no. Say ice. Wait, tear streaked ice. It's, uh, the Lucia battle flame. Oh, okay. I saw my name, I was like, I didn't do anything. I swear it wasn't. <laughs> this um, time. Alright. And I oh. guess for, uh, my bonus action, I will... How much damage did you do again? Nine. Like nine? Nine, yes, okay. nine. So he is up to up um thirteen. Uh, I'm going to inspire Walden. Fucking blast him, mate! Uh, you have a D6 to use at your leisure. That was a pretty good like timing between the fucking blast him and like the, the drop. <laughs> I have my moments, uh, and that's the end of my turn. Oh, son of a fucking bitch. Awesome, awesome. Hey, my mom's not the nicest lady, but you don't have to say that. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh, I will <clears throat> say, you did put yourself in a predicament being between the two enemy forces. I mean, I didn't really have a choice, unfortunately. I mean, you... Oh, yeah, I'm not sure how much distance you do. If, if I, w I wanted to move, uh... Where's the Tavindi? I wanted to move like right here or right here. But if I did that, I'd be moving out of this guy's attack. <laughs> yeah, and it would have got an attack of opportunity. Oh, Might I ever put music me. into the playlist? Huh? Yeah, go for it. Wait a minute, I gotta make sure I'm not missing any of my feats. Someone... No, you have both of them. At the yes. bottom of your legs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sephiroth. Sephiroth. But it's pretty fair. Especially with that big boy. Yeah, girl. I feel like now that we have the boss in here. Is it a he or a she? You don't know if that's penis. the boss. There's something there else here. Can I do a perception check for penis? No, excuse me? I got I gotta make sure that bird is a uh, what gender it is, so I don't uh, hold on, I want you to I want you to realize that genitals do not equal gender. Exhibit A. Oh. A. It doesn't oh, it doesn't yeah. do animals. Not have those parts. I mean, bird, birds, birds do, do have like like cloaca, don't they? Or like oh yeah, they all look the bird. same. God. Yeah, unless it's a duck. Okay, uh, you okay? So do, 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 me, do, me, do a do a very quick nature check. Who? Uh oh. um, Walden. Yeah. Walden. Oh, oh, oh. I'm, I'm oh, I turn quickly up too much. Now it's, it's louder than I am. Ugh. I got eleven. No bonuses. Alrighty, that's a little bit better. <clears throat> nothing. No, nothing crazy. Okay, what roll? You roll eleven. 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 Okay. No so, okay, you know enough about birds, given you know uh, your <laughs> your frequent companions, to know that like bright colors tend to mean uh, male. Yeah. So this one being, uh, you can't quite make it out from this, but it's 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 a slightly grayish. Uh, gray or greenish gray. I mean, so like it's it's more it's more around the gray side of things than 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 what's it called uh, than than green. So because of that, uh, you you assume that it's it's a female. It's a female. Uh, hey, Dust. I meant to ask. Um, do any of us have enough knowledge to like know what that creature actually is? Besides, obviously, to... Grembo, the 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 bird. You would have to roll on what's it called? Uh, nature. Because okay. as the Carlos says, I don't believe any of y'all are very good with nature, right? 
Uh, not particularly, but if I can just roll, I'm just curious if any of us I know am, anything about it. I am hmm. proficient, but I still only have a plus one. Rayla, is, is, Rayla's got intelligence. That'd be a plus four. Would I know anything about just from being someone who works here? You know that, like, I mean, you you know for a fact that it wasn't called, what's his dick, quite enjoys having, like, just animals. Uh, he's a very, very much a, an animal lover. <clears throat> So, um, you know, like, you, you've, you've heard of some- Holy fucking shit! Oh my god, I found the most beautiful maps to use uh, later on. Either way. Um, so am I rolling nature or no? Uh, yeah, yes, go ahead. Okay. You gotta okay. take a break mid-combat to stare at this dragon and say, hey- No, no, I'm just curious if I know anything about it, or if any of us do, that's what I was asking. I wasn't it's not a dragon, too. like, like what, what Grimbo was saying is that, like, it is, it is, like, the equivalent of- you know, like, like, if, if, let's say, like, an owl is a kobold, and an owl bear is a wyvern, then this is a dragon. Got it. Uh, that is a dirty 20. Dirty, okay. So, you know that it is a, what's it called? Um, it is a shrike. It is, uh, historically one of the... Um, like, uh, animals, uh, like, chimeric-esque animals that are, have been kind of, like, um, taken as a symbol of, of the country of Olive, uh, alongside the, the griffin. And for the longest time, um, like, uh, the, it's, it served as the symbol of Waterlight, like, the, the city of Waterlight. Um, it, it is, you know, from what you've been able to gather, uh, a, a different species than an owlbear, uh, as it is capable of flight, uh, and it is incredibly, incredibly territorial. Like, it is, you know, generally speaking, finding, um, if, if two shrikes meet in, in nature, it's, it's usually going to end in violence, with one of them dead. Alrighty. Sure. They... Curious, is that a homebrew monster or is it an actual monster? It is. It is a homebrew monster based Neat. off of uh, what's it called? Um, uh, uh, Walden called it uh, Dauntless. Dauntless is. It's it's such a fucking good game, and I need to play more often. Honestly, it's like Monster Hunter, but you know, but, less less. Uh, here, let me just. Boring, I'll, I'll just. I'm just gonna go ahead and like shoot y'all the the link for it because I I, I want more people to play this game, and I really need to play more of it. <sighs> But, it's a free game. Uh, yeah, cross it is play, free. Cross, you, I think it's also cross progress, so if you have the same Xbox, it goes to PC. So. Okay. It's 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 pretty fucking great. Uh, I have There's been. Guns. There is guns. Dual pistols is one of the options for like weapons. Uh, either way, I... let's 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 what's it called? Let's smash some non-existent skulls. Correct. So, uh, yeah, y'all are. In the middle of combat, so where, where, where are we? I completely lost track. Uh, I just went, so we're back at the top of the order. Okay, so... <laughs> seeing its friends get fried, like, this group <clears throat> immediately goes up to the Shrike and starts, um, you know, swinging at it. Well, I was hoping they were gonna hug it. I would've. Uh, sadly, no. So, um, one of them hits, the second one misses, the third one crits. So, this is how it's going to go down. Um, since there are two or more within 10 feet of each other, uh, <clears throat> their damage goes up to a d6. Ooh, pack tactics. The first one hits 5, and the, the one that crit it hits for 18. So, um, wait, or not 18, second. um, wait, 16. 16. 16 plus 5, so 20, uh, 20, 21 damage all together. I'm not questioning your math, friend, but you said they're rolling a d6. Two d6 yes. is a maximum of 12. How did you get 18? One of them crit. Yeah, no, no, that's what I'm saying. If they crit, they would roll double their damage dice. Yes, but yes. they only rolled one d6. Or no, I rolled twice. No, double. Did you add them? Is their attack 2d6? Like, each in the, each of their attack is... No, no, one of them is d6, and the other is uh, d6. However, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, seeing as how one of their friends managed to, like, hit, another one decides to... Y'all, y'all like, missed out on the flurry. Critically misses. 
I'm sorry. And is is now on the ground. Yeah, you almost on the flurry. Like these things, these things are meant to like just overwhelm you. Like, I I I'm pretty happy with how they came out design wise, but they are they're kind of mook level at the moment. Mook level? Yeah. What's mook? Like uh, getting their asses kicked. Hmm. Their pawns. Their grunts or no, their. All right, uh, the, the Shrike is going to start casting Death's Harvest. Wait. Oh no, what? Wait, right. is that from the... Wait, Death's Harvest. Oh yeah, for some reason I thought you were making like a pandemonium like attack. Because <laughs> the music. Yeah, I mean, that, that's why I said it. Uh, okay, so uh, these three, in turn, one of them's going to come right up. The other one's going to Come right here, and this one is gonna start trying to climb up like the um the thingy. These are the three that got like the dirt shit absolutely fried, by the way. So, okay. um, one of them is gonna the one that's like uh, in 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 range two is gonna go ahead and um like try to dagger uh Alratam with a twenty. Ah, uh, that hits. Okay. Big damage. And that is a d six. Plus four for se seven damage. All right. Uh, and as as uh, what's it called? Uh, he hits the one that you are now sandwiched by. Uh, is gonna go ahead and also swing an attack on you. Oh. For twenty-two. Uh, Wait, twenty-two. That doesn't hit. No, it hits. Why twenty-two damage? For another seven damage. All righty. So. What's it called? Um, uh, uh, two, three of them turn over to like start attacking the uh, the 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 Shrike. Uh, as like three of them that are like very, they, they still smell like ozone and smoke and burning like cloth. Uh, like round the corner. Um, and you manage to turn just in time to get stabbed right in the gut by like the this like wave shaped Chris that uh like dagger that that he has. And seeing his like friend stab you, it like the one that you were just um. Uh, attacking with your rapier, immediately turns around and stabs you in the back, in the shoulder as well. Uh. Stab sandwich. Mm, that uh. drop hit at the perfect time. Okay. Uh, what's there HP, Like, max. Yeah, what, what's your total HP, man? Huh? What's your HP? Uh, I'm at 29 right now. With a okay. new... Oh, okay. I thought you had, like... So, in my mind, I thought bars are really squishy. They are... He's just. I rolled good. really well, apparently, I think. Alright, so. My turn? Yes. So I'm still hanging here, yes? Uh, I believe so, yes. If I wanted to drop to the ground <clears throat> with a coffee movement. Uh, you would have to do a check. Just to drop to the ground? We uh, I mean, yes, you're, you're, you're like 15 feet above the ground and you're like 3 feet tall, my guy. Like, you're, gonna, you're, gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna get like splatted, or at least take some fall damage if like you don't like roll well. Hey, listen, I'm three foot ten, okay? Um, am, am I able to use steady aim with one hand occupied? Oh no. Do you no, know, I'm to, like hang. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm sorry. Like, I'm, I'm gonna have to go ahead and say probably not, just because it's um, you okay. know, uh. I would like to do some fucking flipsy dipsy bullshit, and I want to try to like spin my body so I'm hanging by my feet upside down. So that way I have both hands. Uh, hang. Okay, it's gonna be a little difficult, but I'll allow it. Go ahead and uh, uh what's it called? Roll, roll. Um, that's gotta be acrobatics. Acrobatics, yeah. Yeah, that's the way. Uh, Wisteria's about to die. Uh, he rotated her upside down. No. Oh, Dustin. Guys. guys, you just don't you don't understand. Oh no. Did you when you critical? roll and roll twenty, it gives you two numbers. Because that first number is your first roll, and then the second number is your roll if you had advantage. I rolled two net ones. That is a one in four hundred failure. Yep. About to eat. You're about to eat shit. <laughs> I'm about Both. to actually fucking die. Dust, I rolled two net ones. 
Hold on here. I don't even know um, they would one again, one in four hundred chance fail. <sighs> okay. So uh, uh, I mean, listen, it's not too. It's not gonna be too bad. It's only two d six, given like how how far you're falling. Really, two? Even with. The... Yeah. yeah. Isn't it one d six per ten? I guess that tracks. Yeah. Per ten, yeah. So, uh, Probably. seven damage. Oh, that's uh, not too bad. But you are down. You are now prone, and like you, you know, uh, um, just just for good measure, you're also dazed. Meaning that, uh, what's it called? You lose your bonus action and reaction for the next turn. Until my next turn, or even on the next turn as well? Uh, this turn. I, I suppose, since, like, you haven't quite used them yet. Can I target any of these people without hitting anyone else? Uh, you, I mean, you are a little bit, like, higher up, you know? Yeah, There's... so can I aim for this you, one You can probably peek this guy. You can. Like, easily, like, uh, without anything. Yeah, he's, 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 he's peeking through the corner. You can probably, you can probably, uh, like... You know. I think everyone else... Oh, wait, how tall is Mimi? Mimi? Mimi's, like, yeah. maybe, like, three feet tall, like... Oh, uh, then you can definitely ball. see this guy over Mimi. Yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna fire at them with no advantage or anything. So this one and that one. Are you fucking kidding me? That's another nat one. And that's why I roll actual dice. Oh, Jesus. I'm, I'm sorry, friend. There's three nat ones in one fucking turn. Which that, I believe is a 1 in 8,000 chance. Is that a misfire? I think my yeah, gun I think... I don't think it break. I think... Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna make a break, but like, uh, what's it called? It is it is currently jammed. Like, you you are... I'm not gonna say that it's 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 the, the, your days or anything, or correction, I'm not gonna say that it's because, like, your gun's breaking or anything. It's, <clears> it's, it's, it's specifically because you just took a giant fucking, like, you know, conk on your head. So, like, right now you're just sort of, like dazed and like and, and like seeing double and can't quite like make out like you know where where you're firing and so your shot just went wild uh just went like over here um, is going to stand up then um and just lean herself up against this wall trying to like catch her bearings oh uh, you did get a nat one though so i am gonna go ahead and say that you, like as you're standing up like your 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 hand just kind of like loses grip and your gun falls out of your hand does it shoot when it hits the ground? No. <laughs> it shoots you square in the head, critting. <laughs> kills, kills Brembo. That would, that would be the worst possible, like, case. Okay, so yeah, Wisteria's really fucked up over here with just real bad spot of luck. She's just gonna lean, just kinda, like, catch her breath for a sec. Okay. I mean, at least you weren't stabbed scary. twice. You put yourself yeah, between them. I've taken enough damage to warrant being stabbed twice. You haven't. No, I have. Nah. Literally, the first time I had a knife thrown at me, I took seven damage, and I just fell and took another seven damage. Seven Literally. is like the damage number for everyone except for... for the one who out. needs to be. The one, the one who gets bonuses for rolling is specifically seven. To be All fair, right. seven is the most common roll on 2d6. Oh, that's true. Uh, Alright, so, uh, Walden, it is... Your go then, I suppose. And just a reminder, you have a bard against Moracen. Why does your guy specifically snap a little bit to the right? I'm seeing that like, too. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> right, I see it now. Anyways, <laughs> seeing how it's going on here. Bonus action. All right, it's time to pull it out. Activate my form of dread. Wait, that's, that didn't work out. Oh my oh, gosh! gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't make it, make it small, please. I can't make it small. Leave for one second, what the fuck did I miss? <laughs> well, Walden went full spooky mode. <laughs> Just... No, that... I think he grew to like 50 feet. Oh no! I... I... I'm being challenged. Okay. So, I'm being challenged. First thing, I get a temporary HP 1d10 plus warlock level. Yes. Ugh. 1d10 plus warlock level. I'm plus. Wait, I'm a level. What? What's my level again? Uh, Four. Warlock. Oh, I'm two. I'll get two of that. Oh, it's a fitting one. Okay. Right. Takes forever to get to the dice. Plus two. Uh, ten. I'll just gotta buy dice at this point. 
I, mean, I can just use D. Uh, so I got 5 HP. 5 plus 10. 5. Okay. I've never even seen this battle before. Uh, Zervan? Oh. Oh, I love his music. Is yeah, that Zervan. the raid series for Heaven's Ward? Uh, yeah. It, no, oh. not the raid series. It's from the, uh, the, the, the trial. Oh. You know, I never fought him yet, I don't think. Okay. So... with the <laughs> Certainly. I'm immune to fright. But each Listen. once during my turn, I can make the... I can Listen, force... all... Oh. I'm, I'm sorry, you, you finish first, you finish first. I, I have, I have a, a completely un, unrelated thing to say. I'm ready. Wait, what? Oh. What's the unrelated thing? Oh, sorry. Um, what's it called? Uh... Listen, all I'm saying is there's a reason why, you know, y'all are getting introduced to the Menagerie right now. Like, if, if you know, if, 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 given, given your proclivity for just kind of adopting shit, you know, like, you know. Noted. Do I have any more cocaine gum? Do I have any more cocaine gum? Famous last words. Are you all just sitting on Twitch? <laughs> We're okay. listing an item within our game. It is fine. Yes. We do not recommend the use of cocaine gum okay. recreationally. It is illegal. I do. <laughs> and now <laughs> I'm <laughs> banned. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Alright, well, um, Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. So, one and takes, your turn. So, it takes my bonus action to transform. Correct. And it lasts for a minute. Yes. And I'm going to attack. Wait, how? Was the one that was to the left of L hit? Was he look damaged? Is... No, it's he not. Was part of the... No, oh, no, 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 no. The, this guy, this guy, this guy. Oh, wait, no, these yeah. three were the ones that got fried. So yeah. like, oh, yeah, they're fried. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna take a shot at the one next to him to the left, and then one diagonal from it. Okay. The, the two closest to the left. Where's this dang pointer? Uh, right under the measuring stick. You also, you guys do know you can just right click. Right click. No, He's I hard. didn't. I had no idea. What? Oh my god! You guys didn't know this this entire time? No, why didn't no you tell idea. us sooner? I thought you all knew! How would we oh, know? I knew we'd be using it. <laughs> oh I've been, okay, the thing is, because on roll 20, it's right click to move around the map, so I keep accidentally right clicking, and I just thought you guys knew. Anyways, I'm gonna attack. You expect way too much from us. <laughs> These two wanna attack. Since they're I can probably one shot him if I hit them both. Alright. Lonesome drifter. One D there's to hit. This video must be Jinx Wait, there's stay. Do, do, does your attack there. automatically hit or do they have to like roll a saving throw or something? Well first uh, I have to I have to hit with my uh, attack spell attack. Oh so D twenty. I thought you said a D six, I'm like why are you running no, no, damage no. already? I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm adding a six because of uh, my, uh, 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 my bad, my bad, my bad. First one <clears throat> is a twenty. Wait, is that a twenty? No, oh, no, that's a fourteen. So it's the third twenty. That's for the first one to the left. So that's gonna be a hit. And okay. the second one, fourteen. But another twenty. Well, convenient. Two, Two dirty twenties. All right. So we both right. get hit, and not the damage. Ooh. Excuse me. Oh, the first one's gonna—the one I'm with. The first one that's getting hit, uh, you can force it to make a Wisdom saving throw, and if the saving throw fails, the target is frightened of you until the end of um, the next turn. Now, before you do, roll for damage. Yes. Remember, you re-roll once for damage because the thing. Uh... Yes. Uh, ten. Right, ten. Might as well just roll. Four, two tens. Roll. That's a ten and a. Is that a nine? Is that a nine? Okay. Uh, so I mean, if, listen, man. I'm gonna tell you right now. If you rolled more than a three, then they're dead. Oh, so they're both they're both kapui. Yeah, they they fucking they like, you know, uh, uh, Walden Walden's skin peels off of his face and he just fucking starts cackling and like uh, you you guys hear like so like 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 just kind of like rattling bones. And he just fucking shadowy energy just sprouts out from him, just shoots out, and just obliterates these two, like just gone. I got Yamcha. <clears throat> yeah. Well, I mean, more, more, more than Yamcha, more just like 
Krillin. Thanos. Thanos. Oh, Thanos too. Yeah, this, there's the particle effects just vanish. They don't feel good. Yeah, so they're dead. Yep. Um, I am I'm gonna do something risky but interesting. I'm gonna provoke opportunity attack. I wanna move to the right. I can't move because I don't have anything. I wanna move to the right. I'm gonna move to the right. I'm gonna move there to the right. They attack me. They do indeed. Both of them? Uh, yeah. Yes, okay. Let them. <laughs> so excited for this. Uh, so a 12? Nope. And a 9. Wow, they, they are just jobbing. Alright, okay. they both missed. Which means Al can escape, because now they have no reaction. Or if he attack, or whatever he wants to do. Oh, Damn, shit! You, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! I have Wow, okay, Ice! Holy That's shit, fine. Ice, damn! Like, <laughs> you, got the, you got the 5D chest brains over here! <laughs> and, <you're just> <laughs> and I'm gonna end up moving over here in my turn. <coughs> I slightly out of place over top, because you can see the other parts. Like, slowly. It's this one, it's one. I'll get this okay, suggested perfect. later. Perfect, oh perfect. Yeah, no, like, like, holy shit, man. Like, absolute props. That was, that was, that was, like, masterful. I played enough to last in the know when to take the tanky guy and make the enemy lose their reaction. Because they always that's, seem to do it. That's Unless fair. they're smart. If the enemy's smart, they might not do it. Ah, uh, they rarely are, though. They see a top opportunity, they're gonna take it this time. Usually. Usually. Well, well, Alright. Literally um, 4 DHS. Yeah, that was, that was impressive. So, um, the two that are remaining here, um, one of them is gonna attempt to move here. The moment it leaves this area right here, uh, uh Rail, you can uh, choose to attack uh, of opportunity. Hey, 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 so can yeah. I? Right here? Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna attack it. Oh wait, it didn't matter in the end anyways, they were the different- God damn it, I got the wrong group. <laughs> uh, that is a 18. That is? Big dick. That is a 7. Did you roll another deck? Do I? D on the reaction? Mm-hmm. Cool. Whenever you roll 7 for damage, specifically. Yeah, your Mezzo's Blade specifically does that. Is that- is that to- Oh, we lost, uh, Tally that time. Oh? oh. No. Tally, no. So she- she might not even have heard. <laughs> uh, so I'll roll to attack again. Potentially. That is a 15. A 15? So- so 7 and then 15? Oh, Alright, seven to seven okay. damage and then a fifteen to hit on the second attack. Oh, that misses. The second one misses. Okay. okay. So seven damage. All right. Uh, Tally, if you can hear me, the enemy moved out of your range, and so you can whack him with your staff if you wish. Okay. Yeah, I'm back. My Discord was being whack for a second. No Very worries. Good. And our Wi-Fi just. I think you just rewatched the video. Like, crap for five seconds. Oh. They provoked opportunity of attack, so you can smack them. Yeah. Smack time. Uh. Oh, you're not moving yet. You're, you're just rolling an attack. Yeah, it's just the attack opportunity. But then you'll also move, because then it'll be your actual turn. Unless you don't want to do an opportunity attack. I have to. Pretty sleepy, it's good. Wait, do a... Uh... As an artificer, do you have like a piece, like a weapon, or is it like bomb I mean, staff? <clears throat> a quarter staff is a decent weapon. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, a, it's a it's a D8, I think. Yeah, she has a plus one quarter staff, I think. Ooh. Magical. And she can make it into a plus one after like uh like during the next long rest. I always got out. I huh? should try it like artificer. They're pretty fun. They have a lot of uh, cool stuff. 
Valuable. Three. Remind Plus... me, do I add my so, yes. strength bonus to that? Uh, you specifically add your intelligence. Okay. Uh, Ooh. three plus seven. Seven, okay. We are. So, did you roll a d20? No, you did not. No, that uh, was... Yeah, re re-roll that. Um, I was like, that looks that. like a d8 to me. Yeah. Yeah. I have a hard time hitting with anything with, a, with just that. Ooh, there we go. Big hit. Oh, much, much speedier. That's 18 total. Uh, 18 plus 4, he says, so 22. So, either way, yeah, it hits. Artifices can do the same thing that a like a hex plate does. They make their charisma. Uh, their they make intelligence. So they can make their melee weapons become intelligence with their. Uh... Mm -hmm. that's, that's cool. Uh, so can spell singer, uh, like what's it called? Uh... Spell plate, spell like the, the fighter yeah. version or the uh, this is the, the wizard like, version. The wizard version. Yeah, this is spell singer, I think. Spell singer, yeah, or whatever. All right, yeah. now you gotta roll damage, dab ones. The fighter is spell sword, wizard is spell singer or spell bird. Yeah. One of those. One of those mingies. I roll damage. Ooh, Six. so. Uh that's if you're one handing it. Are you one handing or two handing it? If you two if you're two handing it, it's a it's a D eight. That is D eight. Uh, oh, yeah, it D8. is. Oh, never mind. Alright, so that means that you do 10 damage. Uh, so, altogether, this motherfucker took 17 damage, which is pretty, pretty beefy. Um, so, uh, he, like, stumbles, uh, but he continues on and, uh, decides to stab the dog for 11 and misses. But, wait, um, because of flanking, he does have advantage, and 19 hits. Yeah. However, since, uh, what's it called, there is only, uh, one other guy nearby, uh, he takes, he only deals, uh, 1d4. 1d4, so 8 damage on Mimi. And, uh, seeing one of his buddies hit makes the other, um, dude swing as well, um, at, Al at Alertam. What? Like he like backhands the da the dagger and slashes at him, but misses with the twelve. I imagine. Okay, yeah, you do. Why though? Why me? <laughs> I don't like you. Because you're you happen to be near my eyes. Because I sparkle, bro. <laughs> you're you're bloodied. Yeah, you're out here like the fucking villain from uh, Pocahontas, glittering and shit, and like. <laughs> All right, dude. Uh, who's next? Uh, Twenty one. Yeah, so it is. It oh, is yeah, rails. Real. Yeah, it is rails turn now. What's the twenty-one? Twenty-one. Yeah, it says below rails twenty-one. Is that the bird? Oh, oh yes, yes it is. Oh yes, that is the bird. Ah, uh, it's legal. <coughs> okay. okay. Ooh, cool. Great, I hate it. <laughs> the bird away, mice. I mean, it is a female. I gotta, I gotta be careful. Rail. Oh, right. Sorry, Discord uh freaking out for a bit. It threw me no off. No worries. No worries. I know Discord's been like like it's been kicking me out like all fucking It's been fucky today. Oh, this is a cool fucking map. Oh my god, like I I I found I found like a thing that just solves so many of my issues. You've been inspired. Oh, absolutely! Like I'm, I'm getting a uh, quite a few different Where ideas. Where's up right now? <clears throat> Hold on. Basically, everything you just said was static, so I think Discord is messing up right now. Oh no! Yes. Here, try yeah, turning I'm... it off. Oh. <laughs> yes, they did. I think. Can you not oh, hear any of us well? Hello, I am talking. If you can hear me, uh, say something? Say I don't so. Know. 
I was trying to think of something witty. Can I use uh, healing hands on Rails Discord? I I wish, man. I use a wish to uh <laughs> to fix Discord. Ah, oh, it's a critical fail. <laughs> on wish. <laughs> I lost my ability to cast Wish, and I probably like lost something else. You put, yeah, but you pissed off a genie. Like genie's just kind of like giving you a stink eye. Is she talking in like text chat, perhaps? Well, maybe. <clears throat> yeah, we'll, we'll we'll wait a second while while she wants to call them. We'll take like a quick little break, maybe while she like fixes it. Uh, you know, go, go feel free to go ahead and oh, this fucking fight. <laughs> this fucking well, fight. Very hard what to find heck? versions of this that do not include just the whole fucking fight, like the video of it. Yeah. So well, this mother fever. <laughs> 460 views and just some weird Lollafell dance. The best we can do. Welcome back. Oh, that was quick. Can you oh, hear? That was can you hear? What's this fight from? I know I heard it before. Um, it's uh, Pandemonium 4. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's P4? Yeah, P4. Gotcha. Okay, it's better. Like, this awesome. part okay, thank God. Good. So, what you do? People's doing? icons were lighting up. But there was no sound. Mm. Oh, no. I I get that sometimes really too. Okay, well, hopefully, hopefully, it decides to like be, you know, friendly right now. Yes. Yeah, so um, Who who's the murder elf gonna kill this time? All right, I do have daggers, don't I? Uh, yeah. Don't you know, I kind of I had like a, a a bit of an inkling. Like I had a magic item that I wanted to give someone. Um, I'm like in the pit. I'll, 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 what's it called? Uh, I'll, 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 I'll run it by you at some point in case you're interested, because it's, it's, a, it's a fun little combo item, but, um, for the time being. Give me an item. 5% chance of dying in instantly, but you do one, one more damage. <laughs> Take your whole listen, stock. Listen, man, that's, that's, that's the, uh, the pain of uh, being a min, min maxer. <clears throat> Alright. I'm a blood hunter without being a blood hunter. Alright. Uh, yeah, whenever you're ready, uh, go ahead and go. Um, yeah. we're just- we're just chilling for a time. Uh, uh, gonna walk up to this guy and attack him with my daggers. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, murder elf. Let's go, murder elf. My claps didn't pick up. I was doing like a chant. <laughs> like a clap, 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 clap. Bam, bam, in wait, the wait, face. Wait, did, did you say slap, 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 clap, 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 slap, slap, <laughs> slap, clap, clap, you. clap? And we've been copyright struck again. Uh, Bro, this what? entire thing's copyright struck. I'm worried audio might be cut. Like, I have to download this as soon as the VOD's over. <laughs> Next time we'll get better royalty free battle music. No, you, the trick is just, you, all you gotta do is this Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. There you go. Now it's now it's owned by Audio Jungle. Which means <laughs> Here's what we'll do. Um, all of this is under um, parody, so for use, whatever it is. Yeah. My dad or owns can... Square Enix. Do you know who I am? My dad, My dad is John Square Enix. My dad is John Yoshi P. My dad is Yoshi P. We're allowed to do this. Just say it's a rhythm game. We're fine. Say it's a rhythm game. <laughs> yeah, man. has given us explicit permission. Yoshi P, please. Alright, whack that fool. Bother him specifically. Punch him. Attack. Attack. 13. Strike that fool. 13 plus, uh, to hit. Plus your junk. Which is your intelligence plus junk. your proficiency. Yeah. yeah. To hit. Oh, that definitely hits. So uh, your proficiency at the moment is what? Two, Two still? So yeah. yeah, plus six. So that definitely hits. Yep. Yeah, it's half for a level. And <clears> roll <throat> for damage. The damage is a one d four. Oh, you're attacking with a dagger. Yeah, I like those daggers. Okay. Haven't failed me yet. 
three. Plus your dexterity. Intelligence. You go well, for the daggers too? Yep. It's oh, okay. it's any melee weapon. It's it's like it's effectively supposed to be like her like realizing like, hmm, this is a very good way to like you know, like 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 uh, uh, the way I see it is kind of like the, um, she's doing the fucking uh, Sherlock Holmes thing from the Sherlock Holmes movie, where she's oh, just right. kind of like, discombobulate. like discombobulating, yeah, discombobulating, and like, like in her mind, like just seeing, like, oh, okay, so he's gonna like, you know, try to like move <laughs> this way, and so I'm gonna just stick my knife out in such a way that it will, it will very clearly stab him. To find the most painful spot to stab. Exactly. How much a martial art, martial uh, artist. Seven damage? Okay. Um, yeah, so that... How many daggers do you have out at the moment? I believe I only have one dagger. Okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. All right, I should get another. Do some Zoro shit. Three daggers. Um, what's it called? Uh, you stab him in the gut, and he, like, just drops. Um... Uh, drops like uh, drops down a little bit like is, is like holding on to like the dagger like just staring like sightlessly into like your face i feel like he, you like dig the dagger deeper into him dig it? um oh that's a fun little thing that i didn't realize all right so then the um if wait wait uh uh for your bonus action as well are you gonna command mimi all right mimi yeah uh mimi We'll do the uh, little force vent thing on the page. He mm. does have bonus uh, body expression. Yeah, I just want to make sure you don't forget. I, yeah, I, 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 I think I have up mine already. <laughs> but I didn't need to Yeah, no, no, I would have reminded you. <laughs> ah, thanks. You're like, ah, shit. Probably gonna miss and be like, no, Bolton, you have the bardic expression. Like, oh, I have bardic inspiration. And then I'd be all like, oh, good. Uh, I rolled a 15 for hit anyway, so... Oh, you can you can go ahead and add the Bardic Inspiration. Yes, you can. Yeah, so that's a... Roll and then a I just add a d6. Yeah, whatever you roll I a mean, d6. I think anything, anything, was good. anything will make it 16, so you'll be good. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Three. So, uh, yeah, go ahead and roll for mini damage. Yeah, Angry... Mimi damage is five plus proficiency, so seven. Uh, seven, okay. So, uh, Mimi bites down and, like, just, like, <laughs> you know, fucking starts doing the uh, Mimi <laughs> shit. The past Mimi and Devil. So, uh, it is, um, <laughs> this thing is also down to, uh, or has also taken 27 damage. Yeah, it'll oh. fucking change. Twenty-seven. There you go. All right. So, uh, all right. If that is the end of your turn. It is the Shrike, which the Shrike is going to go ahead and um, use um, an attack, or uh, he's gonna like attack twice. Once against the. What the fuck is the thing? Uh, once against the guy that's prone uh, for twenty-two. Um, We're but trying. since he since he is attacking someone that is prone, I believe that is an instant crit, right? Uh, uh, I think it's an advantage. I think if I it's think a it's paralyzed, advantage. I don't think it's crit. If you're if they're paralyzed, it's a correct. It's, it's a guaranteed crit. Yes, correct, correct, correct. All right, then. Um, I mean, twenty twenty two is gonna hit anyway, so it's yeah. gonna go ahead and do that. If it's rage uh, attack and they're prone, then you get disadvantage. Yeah. Yeah, correct. Uh, and it's gonna do 15 damage to it. Just annihilating it. Uh, and it's gonna roll a second attack against the... Oh, not there's the nat fucking 20. Against the guy that is still not hurt. Yeah. Uh, for... 15... Ex 30 damage... Basically, it slams down on the guy on the ground, just, like, dispersing him, and turns and just bites the entirety of, like, the the other uh, the, the guy next to him's, like, torso off. Ugh. And yes. as a legendary action, it is going to fly. Uh. 
right here. How far was that? A hundred feet? Far. That makes sense. Uh! There you go. I guess in in six well seconds? Yes. It, it was basically just a big ass jump. Just. If you play Dauntless, that's even more frightening. What do you mean? <laughs> you just gotta, you gotta dodge roll it. Its back is turned against you. Towards you, I mean. Oh, wait. Damn. If you. I don't oh, that I can't. I'm making such good jokes and wondering why no one was laughing. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're, oh, you're, you're, you're muted. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so. Say, um... If you hit it while it's flying, you, like, stagger it. Just like yeah. me. See, I was gonna say if you dodge at the right time, all those iframes will line up perfectly. <laughs> you see. <laughs> I like having big monsters. So, okay. Uh, hey Grembo. Guys, time to go now. Let's go now. Grembo goes, We need to find Luca first. I meant go away from this thing, not out of the building. That's fair, fair enough. And uh, he, like, swings at, like, the dude next to him and completely misses. Oh, God. You're trying to be Grimbo. cool. Like, and he's gonna. I'm sorry, go on. Oh, he got me. And he's gonna go, uh... Alright, listen, I'm just gonna go look for him. And he's gonna move. Doesn't even care about that. 30? Nah, he's Grambo. He's, he's too small to get... He's a paladin! He's spooky! Wait, he's going towards the penthouse? Grandpa. Uh, 13. <clears throat> to be fair, the penthouse is expecting him to be. Oh, I thought... I thought we were going to Menagerie to get to him. No. Wait, why are we going to Menagerie then? Because there's a bunch of animals loose in there and we don't know what is in there. Fuck him, we're gonna go, we're gonna go get to Luca. That's what I what said earlier. <laughs> oh wait, we let the five do- Yeah, they're fine. They'll deal with the animal. I'm curious uh, what's Okay, I mean, I, I, yes, I like this song, however, not very fitting. No, I put it in- I, I, I just- I'm out of battle music. It was our victory <laughs> song, but it's- no, we're not. We haven't won yet. Here, I got it. I got. It. Can we stop playing copyright music, please? Please. A little bit of copyright never hurt anybody. This entire audio is going to be removed from the VOD, and we're not going to know what's happening at all. <laughs> audio jungle. Audio jungle. Block. Audio. Okay. I think it's a bit too late for that. Yeah, at this point. All right. So, so what what else is Grimbo doing? Uh, he just moves. Sorry, so I apologize about that. Uh, it is now. Uh, oh, um, the, the attack got some mist, and so all our time, it is your go. Uh, there was no attack. Well, no, no. The the, the this guy like uh, didn't opportunity. Have, uh, yeah opportunity attack. Didn't have one. Because Grimbo doesn't give a. F oh, you keep because Grimbo no, got out of it. Took away took they don't have. Oh, them. you're right. Oh you're yeah. Right. Yeah, absolutely. You okay, have to so, go with that. Yeah. I'm just Cause... going to strike him with Medzo's blade, uh, the one co the one next to me. What is this? Please don't be shit. Oh. Fourteen plus five, nineteen. Nineteen hits. Nineteen hits. Uh, two d six. Oh shit! Seven. One and a six. Uh, One and a six. Not that it matters actually, because I think that kills it. Yeah, no, like there's, there's no, the, the least amount of damage you can do is like what? Huh? I did seven damage what's, to it. Seven damage. Okay, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, what's it called? Um, recovering from, from like the stab you took to like the gut and the shoulder. The stabs, uh, you turn around and just run them clean through. Nice. Uh, having done that, our Tam is going to. to... Do that. What the? Okay. Uh... Alright, so, back up to the top of initiative. D, um, if you notice, they are 
far apart, further than 15 feet apart each. So uh, at the start of this turn, they are all taking... That's... Four. What is this? Eleven. Nine. Literally so, just no. Four. Eleven. And nine. I believe this thing had taken like... Like, thirteen damage? Jesus. Something like that. And they are stunned. So... But, once again, skittering, and as something, like, rushes past, uh, get, like, you, you feel, like, the trembling of, like, the, the, the tile, um, as something big moved next to you, Rail, and the Shrike, like, just blindly, like, launches an attack. Jesus Christ, okay. Uh, which blindly launches an attack, uh, sweeping, uh, uh, well, of opportunity specifically, uh, sweeping uh, by and actually landing a hit on something, doing 15 damage. And a spray of, like, inky black blood just paints, like, the, the tiles right around here. Yes, Bill. Okay, is it my turn? Yeah. Um, can I tell you right now? What's it called? The Shrike seems to calm down a little bit. And these these two schmucks are are they're they're done for. Like they're 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 stunned. That you know, uh if you guys want to execute them, you might as well go ahead. But reach your max playback limit? What? Uh -huh. It says you've reached your max playback limit. Playback will resume in 10 minutes. Huh? Oh, wrong. Because we went for over three hours, I guess. That's fucked. It hasn't stopped for me. Yeah, it hasn't stopped for me Well, I guess it depends on the host. Because uh, at the moment it says that, that uh, Dolek's a host. I guess so. Um. Whatever. Um, can I use my. Oh, I just got it now. Can I use my clever scoundrel against this invisible creature? Uh, you would sadly need to be able to see it. You have to touch it. Okay. Um, can I bonus action and full action dash in a turn? Yes. No. No. We can? You can only dash once. Really? Oh, dash, is, yes. dash is using an action, not a bonus action. With cunning no. action, it's a bonus action. Yeah. So I can't dash twice? She, no. Uh, she's basically like a mishmash between like rogue and ranger, but uh, also goblin. yeah, no. Goblins have that as a thing too. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna run then. Fifteen. Thirty. And then another additional. Fifteen. Twenty. Thirty. And those were my. That was my bonus action and full action. Can I see this bozo? Dabozo? Oh, yes. Can I shoot him? You may attempt! I draw my gun and just quick hip fire at him. With a 15 to hit. That sadly does miss. Bozo. That's my turn. Okay. Uh, once again, they are currently stunned. Walden? Yes. Give me advantage, but I rolled two fifteen, so I don't think it did. All right, so I'm down here. So I'm assuming we're all going to the penthouse, which is obviously the best choice. So I'm gonna Grumbo's men. Grumbo's men come up from over here, um, and what's it called? Uh, as I, like as you're starting to like kind of like do your, do your thing, uh, and they go, um. <clears throat> Grandpa, sir, we managed to get the majority of the things in there. There's a couple creatures that went missing, though, but at least the small ones are taken care of. Can we make up? Oh, all right, all right, all right. Don't pay attention to the big bird. You're be fine. Anyways, I'm gonna try to run past. 
5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Um, I'm gonna... we're out of combat at this point. Oh, basically. Like, it's, it's, it's kind of like a, you know. I mean, like, last of... if we're not going to bother killing these things, we can just ignore the combat order and just keep moving on to the penthouse if that's what we all want to do. I'm blowing up the one that's run past. As I'm running on this, like, right as the, the shattery, the first one that I want. Just one, just one shot this time. That would be 16. I hit him. Uh, you do indeed. And then. Thirteen damage. Uh, yeah, that that absolutely. Once again, I'm gonna go ahead and just like let y'all describe how you like an annihilate these guys. Well, since he's stunned, he's not moving. Easy hit, directly in the face. Just melt it off. Just he's just a headless corpse. He like starts to right? like yeah, and then he starts you know when they like die, they they start like disappearing kind of effect. Yeah. Yeah, just like slightly, like slightly turning into dust, like a fine just powder. Ah, perfect. Wait, oh, fuck! They became the DM. They became the DM. Am I? Even though it's not my turn, I did technically miss. Can I do a finisher on this fool? Yeah, once again, like it's it's not a combat. It's all good. Wisteria runs right up to him, gun to temple, and just blasts whatever semblance of like material on his head. Just sends that flying. Okay. It watches as the shadow crumples, Penel. Just, yeah, just like dark, dark, you know, wisping shadows once again just start seeping from the gun wound as it just vanishes. Oh, Walden, where'd you go? Uh, where are you going? I'm, I'm still there. No, you ain't. I'm just, I'm just move, leaving, leaving, moving that out of the way. So where I, the fuck are you going? Wait, you don't he's, see my... Yeah, he's he's currently he's currently like his uh, former dread, so he's. It's a question oh. mark for me. I'm not sure if anybody else sees that, but it's literally like a question mark. If you yeah. move your screen around, it's it's kind of weird. Oh, oh, that is weird. You're not a question mark when I move, but when I stop moving, you're a question mark. What? You're a question mark, no matter what for me. This this is a beta at the moment, so um. you know the, 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 they're getting some stuff fixed. All right, um. What's it called? The penthouse, Wisteria, as you look over, has the door wide open. Any of the pikes entered this room as far as we're aware? Like any that... man, has Grembo entered? Gr Grembo? Uh, I mean, you can ask him, but like, as, uh, from what you saw, you know, the, the only other, like, uh, pikemen, the, pi pikemen, the only other pikes that, like, came <clears> in, uh, <throat> went over here towards the menagerie to, like, help, like, you know, get that under control. Cool. Wisteria's gonna rush in. Nah, we're getting okay. sort of, like, not far behind. I'm not a front but that's not gonna stop me. You said they, when they die, they leave a little powder behind, right? Yeah, it's, it's, it's like a very fine, like, dark gray powder. I wanna scoop some up as I've been passed. Okay. Um, Walden, since you're, you're nearby as well, and you're, like, you know, scooping the ground, you find two Shrike feathers there as well. Ooh. The Shrike itself seems to be just walking back over here. Boy, I can make my pistols uh, the, the, the strike pistols. She was just being protective. That's very sweet of her. Yeah, no, I'm definitely gonna befriend that someday. It continues cooing sadly. Um, do I know the name of this creature? Uh, strike? Like the actual name itself? Or? Does, Wiz, does, does Wisteria know it? Yes. Like, does it have, like, a name, like, <clears throat> like, Sarah or something like that? You never met it. Never met it. Okay. I was going to offer it some bacon. What? I mean, actually, that's, that's, that's So how did you guys get a total party wipe? Feeding a creature? Engaging a creature which has decided to stop engaging us. Yes. Fine. <laughs> uh, Wisteria... Does a Magnus Burnside's rushes in. Okay. Yeah. You rush in. The 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 rooms nearby or the rooms there are 
just you know completely annihilated um like there's 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 shit turned over doors are ripped out of the hinges <clears throat> it, it's 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 a bit of a mess um you're not quite sure you know what exactly happened but it does seem like they had been like searching for you know someone um there is a a very distinct like like i mentioned you know just like uh, things are turned over like just beds are completely unmade every single room of the penthouse is <clears throat> is completely cleared out um in fact the only door that you, you realize that the only door that wasn't uh, you know kind of like either Sorry, I, I'm I'm getting a weird burp piece at the moment. Uh, either like kicked in or or you know like 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 smashed in or broken in any way was actually the front door, uh, making it seem like potentially the the things that you fought came in came from the inside. Open and there's no signs of Luca. Is Grimbo, not is at Grimbo the right behind us? Uh, uh, Grembo is right behind you. <coughs> Grembo. Grandpa Mike, where's Luca? I, I don't know. He 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 retreated back here last night, but I. Be empty. <laughs> this is his house. Is there if a passage? Give some... me. Ah, uh, no, no. The, there's definitely no no secret passage. Uh, Why least... not? He's a mob boss. Why doesn't have a secret passage? No, there's no way in hell that he doesn't have a secret passage. I, I mean, the, 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 feel free to look around for the, if you want, but. She's gonna. Maybe it's so secret even Grumbo doesn't know about it. Oh, finally, the music's kicking that, back in. That is, that is true. Like, I, you know, have been... not necessarily in his best of... graces recently. Excuse me. I, I would assume that, uh... Huh. He very likely just, you know, never decided to trust me enough for this. However... Yeah. I think, I think, if he wasn't the menagerie, I don't know, could he be, he might be somewhere else in the hotel maybe, but he trails off as he like sees like um, a, a bed sheet uh, that has like some droplets of blood on it. He brushes over and like touches it. It's still pretty fresh. Uh, uh, help me look around. Uh, we, we need to try to find, uh, track this. Track where they went. When may I roll a perception check? Uh, you guys may roll a perception or investigation. 19. 19? Okay. 15. 15? Damn. 16. 16? Oh no, did we lose her? Eleven. Okay. okay. <laughs> Alright, so. Um <clears throat> altogether, that is a massive, like, you know, roll on, on your check, on your side. So between like everyone um you know, kinda like searching and stuff, you find a couple things. Specifically, you do find a, a trail of very small trail of blood. Um leading outwards uh you you must have missed it coming in uh, as it had been kind of trampled and spread around but very clearly you know there was blood that had been spilt uh pre pro mo more than likely by the knives of the, the the things you fought the in addition to that um you find uh that though there was in fact, a single room that hadn't been broken into, um, which was the original mas the, the master bedroom itself. The master bedroom had been, you know, it, it, it had been ransacked, but not, not like, broken into, like, like all the other rooms. Uh, it seemed like they were looking for him, but potentially, you know, they came in from the master bedroom. Uh, exploring a little bit further, um, uh, 
I believe Wisteria, you rolled the highest, correct? A 19? Yes. Uh, in the closet of the master bedroom, you find a rather familiar item. A broken jar with some inscriptions written on uh, slips of paper that are wrapped around it. What language is it? Do I recognize if it's goblin, dwarven, or sylvan? You as recognize it as sylvan. I would say if it is what I think it is, it's sylvan. You recognize it as sylvan. Fuck. What's it say? I was supposed to write a little, like, what's it called, rhyme for this, but I'm, I suck at rhymes. So, yeah. it, effectively, uh, what it reads as is... We'll say it rhymes in Sylvan, but if you translate it, it to common... Yeah, it, it, it doesn't. It, that, that that works perfectly. Um, you um, see that it reads... Lest you choose for chaos... Do not this one outlet it. The rest of the warts are kind of like, you know, smudged or 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 torn in a sense. The jar itself is broken. Luca had it. Why? Luca. Yeah. Mysteria, like fingers the or not finger like um she like pinches the bridge of her nose just like why why is it here i thought that thing was gone why is it Ugh. there's a chance that luca may not even be on this plane anymore do you know what that thing is i have an idea you have, to be, you have to explain a little bit of the map. Well, let's hear it. As far as I'm aware, job, I think I, I believe I told you guys about this downstairs. Had a job, went wrong, broken, open butterfly. And as far as I can tell, that was a fey power. And last I saw, that jar was in the trash. But this is the exact jar. And this and the text on it, she reads the text out, translated to common because I can't remember it. So there is a chance that Luca might have been taken by the Fae. What do the Fae have to do with this? Why would they take Luca? That I don't know. But the jar's here and that's the only connection I can make. I but what about the blood trail? Do you think it was the, the cleaning ladies? I don't know. Hmm. Maybe the cleaning ladies got in the way of those soldiers trying to take him. I will say they did not look like Faye. Here. Maybe I'm Healy Court, but I'm hoping I'm, I'm hoping they've calmed down by now. Uh I'll go talk to them. Again, see if I can't get any more information. Uh, if you guys could maybe look around, try to follow the blood trail. Uh, if 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 it does lead back to the the, the hotel proper, then I, I assume it probably was them. But uh, what have I got myself into? What has he got himself into? A lot more than we can, uh, that we know of right now. Maybe he's done other things. Maybe he wasn't kidnapped, but... Um... Either way, we don't really have any choice now but to just keep investigating. Uh, for current and future use, um, how can I utilize an Arcana check? What, what are you comfortable with me using an Arcana check for, uh, 
it's uh, it's it's what I would call like a general knowledge check. So if you're trying to like attempt to recognize a spell like after someone like casts it, if you're trying to, um, for example, uh, what? Like scrolls or magic books. Yeah, 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 yeah. If 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 you're, if you're trying to like decipher like scrolls or magic books uh, or um like identify magic items, Arcana would work for that. Uh, right. As well as, um, like, any enemy that might have some sort of magical or occult origin would be an Arcana check. Could I use it to identify whether or not magic has been used recently? Like, can I use it to check if there's remnants of magical energies? Yes. I will allow it. Okay, I'd like to roll an Arcana check then. Go for it. Because that's what, in my mind, that's what I think an Arcana check is for, like checking for magical energies. But I wanted, I wanted to ask you. Not discerning if there is magic, not discerning what the magic is. Yes, no, that is largely what I want to do. I did it when uh, we were in the Warforged house as well. I just like, I wanted to feel, is there magic in the air? Fuck yeah, that's awesome. Um, that is a twenty-one. Damn. All right. That is uh, so, one off of twenty. I rolled a nineteen. I'm like, that would have been so cool. <laughs> so, uh, in it, while here, you start kind of you you like you know look around and stuff, and you find um, spots on the floor where specifically a a sing a one big large spot that um, seems to kind of have like a discolored dirt. Like the, the 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 you know the for the most part the penthouse is immaculate uh, obviously outside of immaculate of dirt you know like it, mm -hmm. there's no actual dirt it's it's mostly just you know shit that were, was tossed around shit well here there's almost like a a colorless like not color but like like a a, a white gray like almost ash powder uh, on in a corner of the master bedroom you take it in your hands and you kind of rub it and. It, it doesn't so much stain your fingers, but, like, it almost makes it seem like it's, it's like, removing the color, like, erasing the color off of your fingers. You can only surmise can that... I, oh, fuck. I have meta-knowledge here, but I don't know... Ah, oh, shit. Um... Be pretty sure you made a message if you want, but, uh... You can only surmise that the... Uh, here, yeah, let me send- let me send you a message really fast. Yeah. Uh, you can only surmise that the, um, thingy-majig is a, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, like, like, that- that is, like, remnants of, like, some sort of summoning or something. Oh, okay. Then, maybe- maybe not what I just- Uh, you can- you- go- yeah, go ahead. Uh, what do you want me to roll? Uh, it would be Arcana as well. Okay. That is a 19. Um, while you've heard of that particular thing, uh, you don't quite think that it is, it is gonna be that. Okay. Um, yeah. Um. Right, guys, uh. I'm not sure what this is, but this area right here, this the dust on the ground. I can't. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm picking up and magical energies of some sort here. I think this is where something might have happened to Luca. Unfortunately, that's all I can garner at the moment. I've never, I've never seen this type of substance before. Uh, actually, wait, sorry, I forgot, I got, I had two thoughts pop in my head, and I forgot about the first one. Does this dust remind me of the sparkling dust that I found in the Warforged's house that I kept in a vial? Not quite. It almost seems like the opposite. Like, instead of having magical energy, it... Absorbs magical energy. Uh, more like it's 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 like, like if if the 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 powder you found before was, um, 
like a mark of energy of power this is like the absence of it it's like a null it's 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 strange it's it's like there's no magical energy here and we we you you are where we live in a magical world and the magic's everywhere what the magic <laughs> But right here, it's it's like something drained the area. Of I do want to take a vial of this, so can I gather a vial of that? Go ahead. Uh, how do you want me to write that in my inventory? A vial of um hmm gray powder. Yeah, just say gray powder for now. Gray. So no, if we don't we figure do. anything out here right now, I do want to take this dust to talk to fuck. What was her name? Holy. Uh, the the lovely lady at the church that introduced us to Enigma. Coley. Coley, yes. I'd like to have Coley take a look at this. Maybe her. Uh, one of our colleagues could gone as something that we couldn't. Um, It'd be worth doing. Fuck! What else can we do? Um, did we find any secret passages with our rather high perception <clears throat> check? I think that'd be more of an investigation, like like I individual like investigation. Minus one. That, that's that's my personal opinion. Would be individual investigation checks. I want to look for loot. <laughs> you this are not going to look for loot. This isn't a dungeon. <laughs> I want to no, look, let him look for loot. Is there anything uh, uh, shiny? Uh, yeah, no, I can't like, stop you. I was just voicing my opinion. It's not a dungeon. I, I, do, have, I do have a more... A, a slightly more traditional dungeon coming up. Um, as, a, as a heads up, I have managed to find some pretty fun things to do. Um, that being said... Uh, yeah. Hold on, let me, let me. Ba, ba, ba. You are literally looting the bedroom of my boss who might be dead. You don't, Perfect. You don't necessarily know that. You have to roll Not a perception like check to see if they can see him. I will say the, bla the, uh, the black <laughs> quoted people did it. Dust. Right. Two, Hello. I have a question for you and then a question for everyone else. Is the streak considered a animal? Yes. Does Very. anyone here speak to animals? Does anyone here know that magic? I, mean, I, I speak owl. owl. Uh, I can't. I don't know what you both said because you talked over each other. I said I did, but I forgot it. Fuck. Mud elf. I mean, row. Nope. I wish. You said I can try to speak. Do you... No, no, no. It's not try to speak. You're not talking to a wall and hoping that it responds. Um, do you know the magic speak with animals unless you converse with animals? It's magic. You just, you know, give us some food. You know what? By all means, Warden, like... go talk to the owl. I mean, what if we give it food or, like, give it the, the powder and then have it follow, make us follow us to it? Oh, wonderful. Let's get another critter addicted to cocaine. Cocaine's good, I don't know what you're talking about. It wants your teeth. What are teeth? Anyway. <laughs> like, he's just gonna completely ignore that comment. <laughs> I was thinking, that owl seemed a little down. And if we, if we could maybe talk to it, maybe we could garner some information, but... None of us have that magic right now. Um... Grim, but it's a long shot, but... But can you talk to animals? Like, do you have the uh, magic? Grumbo had, walk Grumbo had walked out. Oh. He's gone. Oh, right, 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 right. My bad, I I forgot that was, that's my bad. Um. Uh, just, a, I guess, asking directly to DM. Uh, do we have any clear-cut options of what to do right now? Or is it kind of just like, uh, sandbox, do whatever you think you can? 
sandbox do whatever you can for the most part. Uh, can I intimidate However, the wall? Huh? <laughs> I said, can I, I, mean, can I intimidate the wall? You can sure try. <laughs> but, I mean, what's it called? What I was going to say is that, I mean, you know, there are... Like, uh, there are a few things you can do. Um, like, I mean, I don't want to, like, handhold you and tell you, like, you know, like, the, the few things that you guys haven't done yet. But, yeah, um, no, that was my next thought. That is a possibility. Um, Grambo is coming back in a minute or two. Like, if you guys want to, like, just hold out for him and, like, wait for a second. Uh, can I roll a proper investigation check? Uh, or yes. Or no? Yes? Go okay. for it. Yeah. See why you wouldn't be able to. Yeah. Well, because we already rolled a perception check, and they, they kind of go hand in hand. I wanted to make sure that, you know. Big numbers? Fucking! It rolled off One. of a 20 onto a 2. That. Perfect. Thanks. I Are watched that happen in slow motion. That is a you, fucking you got, 4. You got distracted by a very nice old hat. By a blue oh. butterfly, maybe? <laughs> no, no such thing. Uh, that being said, though, you know, like, just, uh, uh Walden, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, like, let you pilfer a bit, if you want. <clears throat> yes. Uh, you find a, um, a, a club, uh, that kind of looks like a police club. Uh, for intents and purposes, it's, it's just, like, a, a club. Um, a, some sort of potion that, uh, what's it called, um, like, the label just says Veritas. Um, a case of crossbow bolts. Um, the crossbow itself that accompanied it sadly lies broken next to it. Um, five gems worth three gold each and a suit of splint armor. Splint armor. What color is the splint armor? <laughs> it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of like, you know, like, like a grayish, like almost, almost like a brassy color, I guess. So it's not a golden legendary. Okay. Oh, Splint Armor. Oh, never mind. Oh no, it's 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 a blue uncommon. <laughs> Mine's better. I got a green uncommon. In most oh, cases. Yeah, oh yeah, I forgot. We gotta give rail armor. But Rail can't wear. Well, can. I'd appreciate you can tell for my boss's stuff. Now we're all in investigation. Uh, it's for a good cause. We'll uh, we'll pay him back. It's a debt. It's a loan. You don't. I don't think you want to be in debt to a mob boss. It's advanced payment for saving his life. Yes, we're we're saving his place. Mm. Advanced payment. Yeah. I don't steal. It's not my thing. I take no part in this. I'm gonna wait outside. Well, the uh, one, once I'm like, if I'm noticing this, that's what I say. If I'm not, I'm just gonna continue investigating. I'm not sure wake where I am in relevance to them, and I assume it's a relevant. You're you're house. still in the same room. You're still in the same room. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna wait outside. I'm not finding anything. I'm gonna see what Grumbo has to say when he gets back. You're free yeah, to do what you want, but I'm not gonna partake. I'd rather not lose my job. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, I'm gonna same. roll an investigation check on like the walls and floor, see if there's any hidden compartments anywhere. Okay, gotcha. A twenty three. A twenty three. Oh my okay. goodness! Good job. Okay, so um, what's it called? Uh, you are a pretty pretty well learned uh, woman, um, <clears throat> and you had heard some tales that your dad told you about how during your mom's adventuring days, she would oftentimes be really lucky in you know walking up to a bookshelf, pulling a book, and it just auto being th the key. So you do that, and you pull out the first book you find, and nothing happens. But there is a like you do see like a a, a bit of like a cubby, like tucked behind the book. So you kind of like take out the uh, like uh, a few more books, uh, so you can open up the cubby, uh, and that nets you a or opening up the cubby, uh, which was unlocked for God knows why. You find a hundred and fifty seven gold as well as where is this? Oh shit. That's rather a ring of warmth. Actually a, a, a small silver ring. 
I'm not gonna fucking already explain the spoil it a little bit, but a small silver ring. Do you take it? Heck yeah, I take it. Okay. <laughs> it do I have some hereditary ability to um grab books off of bookshelves and get answers now? Just like, just like your mother. <laughs> Very nice skill he got there. It's grabbing knowledge out of you, you pull knowledge to find stuff. <laughs> All I do is pull bones and that makes people die. I mean, it works. I'm adding this to my character sheet. It's a job done. Okay. Yeah. Um I think Wisteria is going to like walk out and just kind of stand over the not over the edge but like just leaning out over the balcony edge okay okay Our table oh is okay us. hold on that is relevant oh fuck i'm probably shorter than the ledge so no i'm not going to fall off <clears throat> as you walk I, over i think the stiff breeze could knock you off to be fair as you walk over um you know like you're walking over here but you notice something a trail of inky black blood, as well as scratch marks on the floor, and some on like the the railing right here, like right next to where you're at. Whatever was with you guys on the roof, um, it was fairly large, at least by your measure. Like, four Wisteria's big. <laughs> that's not saying much. I am rather small. Well, sure, but I mean, it would, I don't it would know, categorize man. That's this. two whole hour tams. <laughs> I'm gonna take the bait. Can I walk over here and try to, like, look at the scratches? You look at the scratches. Should I investigate, or...? You, are you can roll the investigate, out of sight you can roll for perception. Yeah, that's what I do. Wait, what was that, Dust? You you could you sure can try. That is a five to investigate. You look at the scratch marks, but you get psyched out by the heights and just decide to back up. You are, you know, in one of the highest buildings you've ever been in your entire life. Well, the, or, um... Grembo comes walking up from this part, from like the center. Uh, he kind of missed the uh, uh, Wisteria since she was like behind the, oh my, the map's quality dropped real bad, what the fuck. Um, and he looks at uh, Alratam and goes, the, the cleaning ladies were attacked in the hotel proper. He like kind of like fingers over to like the, the entrance uh, to the hotel, like, the far edge which means that any blood we found there was very likely Lucas just for the sake of asking there wasn't anyone else in the penthouse was there uh I mean I know he has his mistresses but I doubt we would have probably seen him by then by now I one of the strikes ate them was, was he uh was Grimbo here when I found the dust I can't remember I, I don't think so. Right. So, where's uh, where'd the Shrike go? Speaking of it, um, um, it went back to the menagerie. Actually, I don't know if it did. I think it's just behind that bush. No, it went back to the menagerie. Did it? Uh, he looks over. I mean, what the check? No, D Dust specifically said like it was calm and like mosey back into the menagerie. Well, mosey back towards that general direction. I guess. You know, I'm almost positive it's, uh, over here. I think that's where he had a walk to. Um. So, I was trying to see if I could sense any magical energies in the room. And, there's a pile in the bedroom where I found it. <clears throat> of dust. That isn't magical, but devoid of magic. And there's something siphoned the magic out of that area entirely. 
Unfortunately, that's all I was able to find. I'm, I took a vial of it for myself. I'm gonna have a few colleagues look at it uh, and see if they can garnish anything, but... As it stands, Is there any yeah. more? I may have to send some over to uh, Thaden to check it out, too. It wouldn't be a bad idea. Yes, there's plenty. I only took a vial for... Okay. He starts walking back towards the house. And Rail is just spinning out. Of yeah, Rail's just dancing. <laughs> See, he's doing backflips in place like one of those really trained gymnasts. <laughs> yeah, Mimi's just Mimi's just kind of like doing like the dog thing, where like standing in the back and like doing a little dance, like back hind legs and doing like a little dance thing. Grandpa looks over and goes, "I, actually, yeah, let me." Starts walking over. And you hear, OH DEAR GOD! Oh. Oh, that's right. Uh... Hey, girl. Guys? Hey, girl. It's, it's, it's like in a rather aggressive stance still. Like, it's, it's... Very much protecting something. Oh. I guess I approach, uh, Pike Grimbo. You don't happen to have cast speak with animals, do you? Not at all. I am more of a heroism, divine smite type paladin. Right. Don't worry, guys. I got this. And Wisteria approaches slightly. I stole you. Maybe getting this close, keeping like some good distance, and tosses the eighth pound of bacon that she has just. <gasps> Just to the Shrike. Why do you have bacon? Uh, yes. I picked it up at breakfast. <clears throat> oh, that is actually true. Um, this, what's yes. it called? The Shrike? The Shrike, you realize, is a lot more bloodied than you originally thought. Um, you, you're not quite sure how or why, but... Around this area, there is more... Fine, dark, dusty imprints of... But you can only assume was the, sh the, the, the things you bought. Oh, so, you, you got into a bit of a scuffle, didn't you? <laughs> I approach it with a gentle hand out. It moves over, revealing a corpse sticking out from behind the hedge. Wisteria very slowly walks towards it, looking to the creature the entire time for, like, uh -huh. it's okay. It, 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 what's it called? Like, it gets in, in the way. It's okay. I, st I step back. Hands up. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt it. I just want to check it out. Is that okay? <laughs> it, it, it lets out this kind of, like, just... <laughs> sound. If that is your master, I need to check it out. Please let me through. And may I roll animal handling? You may. God damn it, man. That's only a 13. Hmm. It's not quite wanting to push. Grimbo, um, it knows you a little. You want it, Troy? I mean, it knows me in the sense that it's seen me uh, walk by with Luca before, but... That's better That's than we it. have. And give him some food. That always works. It, uh, it, I'll look yeah, up the and food. try my that animal handling. Okay, go ahead. Um, uh, the food did help calm it down a bit. I must have Mimi, to uh, restore by eating the bacon one before. Oh, <laughs> Mimi's like like hanging back, like whimpering a bit. Well, I mean, whatever passes is whimpering for like a you know the the wet sloppy like. Maw that it has. Jesus Christ. Uh, 18. Can't, can't be an abomination. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. You realize uh, that in one of its haunches, it in between its fur, um, you catch like a, a quick glint of metal, and realize that it it's had a knife stuck into it for Lord knows how long. You approach it slowly, and it it, it, it regards you in, in a defensive posture. But, you know, you, you, you slowly approach it, like, hands up. 
um, the the bacon that uh, Wisteria had given it before did kind of soften up its demeanor. And it allows you to reach over and pull out the dagger. It, it like, leans over and, and, like, licks the general area of the wound. And, like, coos a little bit softer and moves moves a bit. Is there any way I can cast Cure Wounds on it? On the, the creature? I yeah, think absolutely. It, yeah. I think Cure Wounds okay. are touch. I mean, it let them touch the knife, so I might yeah, let no, them No, I'm just asking for clarity. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's touch. Okay. Healing Ward is the not touch. Uh, Cure Wounds is 1d8, right? Yes. 1d8 plus your spell casting, I believe. 1d8 plus... <clears throat> I have... Was that a 1? <laughs> yeah, it's a 1. <laughs> I mean, it's a lot, though. That's fine. I mean, it, yeah, it, it it's helps. It's a thought that counts. Yeah. Uh, 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 you're, you place your hand on it, and it, it, you know, starts... Like, actually, could you describe what your magic looks like? Oh, dang, I haven't thought of that. Ooh. Mm, you literally just imagine. hear gears and, like, like uh, gadgets. <laughs> and, like, the wounds seal up. Wait, kind of kind of like, kinda like the uh, ultimate Alexander weapon glow? <laughs> <laughs> just, I need to be a sage. <laughs> it's like giving me freaking lasers to heal. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah that works, that works. All right, so we'll work um, on that. Strike yeah. wounds with lasers. A diagnosis. A soft, uh, a soft. What's it called? Like bluish white light, like emanates from your hand, and um, like the the like ball of energy kind of like opens up into almost it looks like almost like tentacles that that start like suturing the. Like the 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 injuries on on the uh, the shrike, the beast itself is is gigantic. Like it is, you know, e e like easily every single one of y'all could fit on its back, basically. So uh, it's 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 it would take some time to fully heal it this way. Uh, however, you know, it it does seem to kind of understand and appreciate what's what's happening. Um, uh, anyone with proficiency in animal handling now learn that shrikes are highly intelligent. Not me. I'm not proficient to see in it. I have a I have a high like thing in it, but I'm not proficient. Yeah, I have a plus three, but it's not a proficiency. I got plus four. I should back old. and cast, I don't I don't think. Oh. <laughs> we are not animal savvy people, it seems like. Alright, well at least Rail does go ahead and <clears throat> learn that um What's it called? The, the, the like shrikes are very intelligent creatures that you know can can they understand what trust is effectively? You know, like they they will sit there and and like think a bit more than just food. Something. Just... I'm gonna let everyone know that too. Yeah. Um... <laughs> like they... Shrikes are really intelligent creatures. Yeah, I would imagine something like this would be. That's still good to know. Yo, yeah, Grumbo, you all right, right? You, you're floating and spinning. Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> um, can I use my clever scoundrel to... It's not an enemy, but let's, like, learn a little bit more about strike strike strikes. I cast Thunderwave. You can't in a bit here. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> like, that would, that would probably reinitiate combat and... <laughs> Kill us. <laughs> I got a 17 on my insight check. Rail will okay. die. I like the <coughs> baseline information about strikes that might be important to this situation. Mm, I'll, 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 tell, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you in one second. I'll tell you in one second. Uh, Walter, what, what'd you say? Oh, nothing. nothing. Okay. Well, um, you... What's it called? Can very clearly surmise that they're very... At least female shrikes, since you have no experience with male shrikes, are very maternal creatures. Mimi. Mimi, go go say hi. <laughs> it's going to get this thing killed. Mimi. Both of them. Mimi, go say hi. Shorp. It says Mimi as it walks over. Does, does, it, does it do like a weird slime dog tongue pant? Uh, yeah, like I said, it's more of like a schlorp. 
Well, okay. It seems like it's calmed down a bit. Do you, do you mind if we get by you, girl? And it, it you know, it goes. <clears throat> it it coos and moves away slightly. Good job, Rail. And Bosteri, for that matter. Like, both, both of you handled this very, very well. Grembo walks over and... Uh, for those of you that are within, like, sign of uh, line of sight to see, the corpse is flensed and flayed. It's um, what? I, I didn't catch that. Uh, flensed and flayed. Basically, like, it, the, the skins have been torn off. Okay. There's bits of clothing scattered about. Um, but... And, and, and uh, what's it called? Uh, some of it's like appendages, specifically like a hand and a foot have been cut off entirely. Well, it's one. Person. One of the hands. Something, something, arm and a leg. <laughs> um, the, the hand that um, has been, you know, cut off uh, lies a little bit for over here. <coughs> and next to it, or Grandpa leans over and picks something up, and holding it up, he holds up Lucas' ring. I, I think we found your boss. Oh, <sighs> this is not good. Wait a minute. Yeah, Wait. this explains why the strike was um. <clears throat> uh. Wisteria, like, nervously chuckles for a sec, just... <laughs> oh, Grandpa, what are we gonna do about this? No. Uh, it's, uh, a, a part of me knows that this might be the end. I, despite my best wishes, uh, the, the, the last word had killed easily uh the vast majority of the Antonelli family that that has any stake in in the family business if this is Luca then and sadly the size does match then the pikes are leaderless wait next, a minute who's next in command it, it would have been his cousin, the the one that you I, found melted by a slime. Are you in the chamber, <clears throat> man? Uh, uh, uh. He kind of like pales a bit and, and, and like sits down. This might be your job then, bud. That or the pikes are out of town giving way to everyone else and that's gonna put so many of us smaller folk out of jobs <laughs> this is a disaster <laughs> truly <laughs> you... mr. DM hello can I take out my paper your paper your names yes I you may it. is the new name still on there it is still on there Do you know what the name is and just not telling us? Like, is it a secret between you and DM? Very clearly. I so. mean, it's a piece of paper, unless you can see the paper itself. You, oh, no, 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 I'm saying, like, do you as a player have like an actual name on there, or do you just know there's a new oh. name? Oh, no, I've got a bunch of names on here. Okay. One of the names, uh, I, 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 out of character, is Luca. Uh oh. You shouldn't have told us that. Well, <laughs> I mean, I'm not. I don't know that. Don't matter. Yeah, I yeah. know. Keeping the information secret's fun. Eh. I agree. Too much, too much work. <laughs> Crambo, we. No, no, right. Listen, I, I don't have the skill myself. Uh, our Tam steps forward a bit. I don't have the skill myself, but there's plenty of temples and churches in this town. There's plenty of funds. It hasn't been but a day. We can bring him back. Dude, I might have do something. Do you understand how? 
expensive that is. That... You understand this is a whole organization that's keeping people safe and people fed. There's not a price you can put on that. I... The upheaval that losing this organization would do to this, this entire city. Literally destabilize the entire city. Not the... It, it, it'd be hell. That's true. It's not, that's not something you can put a price on. If... If the, the smuggling rings from Solomgrad started strong-arming the way in here, that'd be... Like I said, I don't have... I, I've, I'm not... I haven't not even... learned the magic yet. I'm trying. I'm working myself towards it. But there's gotta be someone in this town who does. Al, I got this. What the fuck do you mean you got somebody... this? You don't have it either. I just checked. There's no way you... I'm saying this out of character. Like, like no, you don't. You liar. <laughs> I got something. I'm gonna go to... Uh, 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 make sure the bird, the strike, isn't angry with me. Getting no, it's close. it's it's pr it's pretty chill. Like no one really, okay. no one in the party attacked it, which would have made this a lot more difficult. I'm so, so. glad I didn't attack it because I was totally about to do some like crazy shit, but I opted against it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get next to the corpse, and I'm gonna do like, I'm not sure how. Like I've never done this before, but my god, I'm just gonna. Walden's gonna like try, but he's gonna cast speak with dead on the corpse interesting oh. it begins glowing what the fuck it begins glowing um like like with your magic which uh what what, what how would you describe your magic again like would you describe it as, as like i was gonna describe kind of like like uh like the green and magic shit that happens when you uh do speak with dead in, in baldur's gate but like it's it's up to you like how how what color is your magic like what's what's like your energy well, it's mostly it's very well very shadowy dark kind of like how those uh enemies we just killed okay but slightly different like you okay. can tell if, if, you, if you looked at them next to side by side you can, just, you can, you can it's a like a tint color difference but very similar uh, yeah grayish black okay so a, a like, like smoky grayish black tendrils start circling luca and he rises up as a, a, a like, or um, not Luca, but you know the corpse as a, um, like singular big <coughs> mass comes out. Oh, bless you. Thank you. Sorry. Uh, this black smoke, like, kind of, it looks like it like sl like like stabs the back uh, of this corpse, like the back the back of the head of this corpse, and it jolts like every extremity, just like just jerking and and, and twitching. And you, you know, you, you know, it's, it's, it is Luca. His voice immediately fills your head and you just hear, why, why you, we, I loved you. Why did you leave? First, because I know it gives you five questions you can ask. What or who killed you? Those shadowy monsters. That would make sense. Uh, for clarity, I just want to throw it out there. I'm pretty sure that no one except for Walden can see this happening. See or hear this. Is it? I'm pretty positive. I'm I remember sure. it happened several times in Critical Role. And, uh, I don't know. It it's literally it says the corpse must have a mouth, so that implies that it is literally speaking out loud. Yeah, I feel like I feel like uh, a speak with plants is different because that that yeah. like would have happened, you know. Like, like I said, I could be describe. wrong, but I feel like they mentioned it a few times where only the one person could actually see and ask the questions and like yeah. speak with them. I just wanted to throw it out there. Yeah. Well, I don't know what else to think about. I just want to know how he died. I got four more questions. You can ask us. Hey guys, what do you uh, what do you ask a dead, you know, dead thing? What do you ask him usually? I asked him what killed him, but it was those black things we just killed. So I'm not really sure what else to ask. Do you Actually, we... is what do we do with the pikes now? Uh, I think more important at the current moment is, uh, this is my opinion. Right, right. I have to talk in my voice. Sorry, I forgot. I think in this moment, the more important thing is 
does he know anything about? No, can you tell us anything about the creatures that killed you? I think it's important to know if he knows why he was targeted. He's a mob boss. There's a million reasons why. But that's not a bad question, actually. I take that back. That's actually a very good question. That was rude of me. I'm sorry. Why he was killed? I was abandoned. Oh. Then she abandoned me. She promised me so much, but she left me when I needed. Should we ask who is she? Uh, no, because we us. haven't been told that yet. Wait, no, no, oh, sorry, no, no, wait, everyone here, my bad, sorry, I still had it in my head. Right. I mean, might as well, that's my, that's my next question. Who is she? A you might uh, okay, it wasn't just me, I was gonna say, did dust cut oh, out yeah. for anyone else? A most beautiful creature in creation. Come on now, you know that was not the <laughs> She would sing me songs, and she said that she loved me. She was like a butterfly in the wind, graceful oh. and beautiful. Ask him, All right. ask him what question he had to the butterfly. No, because we already just said. Ugh. I don't think what that. Do I don't think that counts as a proper answer. I was, I was gonna ask Wisteria. I don't feel like that's oh. like I, I feel like that completely dodges the question. Uh, they they will answer in, in in ways that like are cryptic usually. Like really, Nickley says yep. answers are usually brief, cryptic, or repetitive. Okay, I I, I'll, I will stop. I apologize. You are correct. I am incorrect. <laughs> no, no, no worries, man. No worries. But it's the butterfly, which is what Wisteria was freaking out about. Well, that, that's that's a, that's that's a fae, right? That, that's a something of fae origin. I believe um, it is. So yes, we're, but... we're, we are at, we're at how many questions do you have total? Five, and we've asked three. three. Killed them. Were, I were, think uh, this one three out. Yeah, two more. Left. I think the two last questions we should ask. This is my opinion. We can deliberate this. Um, what can you tell us of the creatures that killed you? And what should we do for the pikes next? I still the... think, listen, out of character, I'm only a level away from being able to use this skill, but unfortunately I can't right now. So it's not unfeasible that somebody would be level 5 and be able to use this. <clears throat> I, listen, I don't have the magic to revive him. Not, not right now. But there's gotta be someone in this town. We have ten days, nine if you count this as happening yesterday, to find somebody and pay them to bring him back. Those two last questions are still important if we can't ask him, if we can't bring him back, but I still think that's our best option. I think our two questions then should be, what do we do with the pikes and do you want us to bring you back? It's not a matter of want. It's a matter of need. If it's up to me, I'm going to bring him back one way or another. I can't just let this massive pillar of the city that is holding it up by the underbelly disappear. I can't do that. I mean... If I had Grimbo, the magic, I'd be using it right now. We wouldn't even be having this conversation. Grimbo and I may not have the money or the pull, but I mean, we're loyal workers to the pikes, and... For the most part, a lot of what we do is kind of self-governing. Loyalty is not reputation. Reputation can be built back, but God, I... I don't know if I have it in me. I don't know if I want to have it in me. I... As far as it goes right now, we need Luke back. We have too many unanswered questions, and he's too influential. With what Thiden told us, we were supposed to save him. If we don't bring him back, we've already directly failed our first mission. We need him back. Something's... He has answers that the dead are not going to tell us. Dust. Hello. 
Is my tattoo reacting at all to this situation? You know, uh, no, because I'm a fucking dumbass, and I completely forgot to tell you that, like, it has four charges, and uh, both you and Ice can, like, tap a charge to just give yourself advantage. What? Is that all it does? That's- that's dope. At four. Now. So it doesn't offer any insight or, like, connection to Thaden? Oh, um, take advantage. Who knows? Wait, I, like, wait, 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 wait. Tap tattoo as if it's like a watch and just try speaking to it. Um, Thaden, are you able to hear me through this? Wait, 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 wait. Let's uh, say that I've been. Oh, no. Listening he's in. Listening. He's listening in. Wait, so. Grembo pales even more. I mean, wait. Wouldn't Grandma know? Because he has one as well. Like, do we? Uh, we do we know right. that Grandma has one? Yes, he showed yeah, us. He showed okay, him. I, I couldn't remember. I was genuinely asking. Thank you. So wait, but, they didn't but, respond. Yeah, but Grandma, didn't know. Yeah, he did respond, but Grandma didn't know that. Like, you know, he could hear. It just, Thaden, just um, sorry. Go ahead. Thaden, um, Luca's dead. Oh, I'm, I'm I, well aware. Um, I don't. I believe he is dead, but like, There's... he is, but he isn't. Satan, what do we do? Hmm. We bring him back. Well, first things first. There is a rather strong... Well, well your, your friend there is making a, 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 some rather strong cases for bringing him back. However, his soul is already crossed over. It's already in the shadow in the in the boneyard. If he's been dead, bring him back now. Bring him back now would be a, effectively the exact same thing as if you were to summon a demon or um, a, a celestial. Well, it would I'm... only continue to weaken the, the the veils between this world. He stays dead. But I don't understand how. People are bring, brought back all the time. I've read plenty of stories. Are you, are you, Stories. Do you mean to tell me that they're all demons? No, of course not. But that's all they are. Stories. As it currently stands, they're... You know, I've, I've managed to pull some strings, make sure that revivals are kept to a minimum. And I have a vested interest in making sure it stays that way. I have a vested interest in protecting this city. I'm assuming I can just I'm just be able to speak freely. I don't I don't mean to miss you, Like I'm able to just be freely with like data and out loud. Yes. Uh yeah, because it's 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 kind of like you know broadcasting out of like their yeah. Their that's tattoos. what I figured. That's what, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't like talking and like not actually being able to talk. And if hey, you want, does... I'd be translating it to Dayton. Does my uh does my tattoo have a mute option? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you look down and you just see a little icon that's a little microphone with a cross through it. You just had to push that. I just, like, I slap There's also a hang-up button. <laughs> see, look, here, when, when, you, when you push that button, it sounds like this. <laughs> so you slap you slap the button, and, and then <laughs> it goes, ow, button. ow, damn, that hurt. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Um, just Josh in here. Uh, you, can't, you can't hurt me. Thing, something's very wrong right now. He's, even though he's dead, I don't believe he is, because he wouldn't, I wouldn't have him on my list right now. You have yeah. list? On your list? What's Pardon your list? me? Ah, right, right, you have that whole what list? deal with the, uh, the deal going on, where we'll, we'll have to take care of that soon. Oh, well, yeah, it's just a small thing. Don't worry about it. Hmm. Well. <laughs> between you and me, that almost sounds like... Like his soul proper is was claimed by something else. So that means he's not in the boneyard, then, and resurrecting him would have worked. Yes? Well, yeah. if he's not in the boneyard... And whatever has it. You would be able to revive him, correct, if you managed to get his soul back from whatever has it. Wouldn't Revive Spell just yank him? 
No. Gods, no, gods are much stronger than spells. Who says it's a god? No. It's a fae. You underestimate how strong the fae are. They're not gods. They have to revivify. Some of the archfey are older than the gods. <sighs> Fucking hell. Zayden, did we fail? We didn't do fail. a damn thing. Not, not yet. We got here right away. There was nothing we could have done that we didn't. Nah, we can't, I can't fully blame you for trying. Fully? He was dead last night. We were still talking to you. You <laughs> can't put any blame on us. No, of course. Of course. And you've already no. shot down my way to fix it. But there are other ways to fix it. You yeah. could, like I mentioned, you know, track down whatever caused this. Or take a soul back. That's he was. We're talking to his corpse, and he was talking about a, a female, a blue butterfly female, who I recognize as something. They let's be oh. let's be honest here. Just throwing it out there. If whatever has his soul is strong enough to resist a rib of my spell, it's clearly already at a point where we can't just go in and mug it. Of course, of we're course. Not if we're not strong enough to yank him with holy magic, where, where, where it purposely grabs the soul and pulls it back to the body, what chance do we have of it in person? You see absolutely this none. The strongest which is, surviving. Absolutely none, which is uh, exactly sister, what did you why. Say? Oh, sorry, sorry. I didn't hear what she said at all. Yeah, no, no, I, mean, I didn't even, like, you, register. You it's like, Revi Revivify is the strongest of revivals. It's obviously it's not, but it's as close as to us. Sorry, I spoke over you. That was rude. It's the Joe Schmo of revival, like it—it it not being able to be revivified wouldn't even matter because it's been more than a minute. Ah, uh, no, like, it's, it's ten days. Revivify is a minute. Are you sure? I, One hundred. I'm positive. I just looked at it. Raise no, that is a fifth level spell that is ten days. Yeah. That's the one you're, you're confusing it with. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, I'm wrong. Thank you, sorry. Revivify is in the moment, like, you see someone drop, you... You're right, you're right, them. you're right, my bad. Alright. We'll just look well. really useful. Sorry, well, uh, they didn't continue? My bad. Yeah, you are forgiven. Well... Thanks. Legitimately, it seems to me like this is a... This is a, a bit of a conundrum. If the, I don't know what a fae could be needing a soul for. Uh, usually, unlike other like extra plane realms, souls aren't currency for the fae like they are for the the celestials or the the abyssals, or even the monitors for that matter. Could it be a demon? It could be. It could I mean, be an Azada. I know, I know we normally There's... associate demons with brimstone and fire, but as far as I'm aware, there's nothing saying it can't be in the form of a butterfly. A butterfly. And if you ask me, that's pretty good camouflage. Anyone coming after you is going to look at the Feywilds. In reality, you're in the abyss. Forgive me if I'm mm. calling those the wrong places. Well, they would be correct. I wasn't yeah. certain about the abyss, is what I was saying. Um. Well. Right. Uh, I guess a few questions for you, the last guardian of the water. What would cause an area devoid of magic? Devoid of magic? Devoid of magic. And I hold up the vial. Uh, wait, I'm sorry, can you, is it, is it audio, can you see me? I, 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 uh, the, the, not fully, but I mean, I can at least hear. Right, so I have in my hand a vial of dust that was found in the room where Luca last was before he met his untimely end. And our world is full of magic. And this is devoid of it. Hmm. Hmm. 
That doesn't Bring sound it back like to something... me. That doesn't. Sorry. No, no, it's all good. Bring it back to me when you uh, next time we see each other. I I have a theory, but it's only a working theory. I don't have any way to confirm at the moment, but I I got a, I got a little bit of research to do. Tell you what. Uh, if you truly consider that you failed one way or another, uh, why don't you go ahead and, uh, try your hand at catching whatever Fey thing was fucking around with it, with, uh, old Luca there. I hope you know I hate you. Zayden, I do have another question. In your opinion, what should we even do with the pikes? We clearly can't bring Luca back, and without them, the city will fall. Not fall, but struggle quite a bit. What can we even do? Well, the city struggles the demons and fiends fest. Listen, listen, darling. Uh, I'm gonna be as... gentle as I can here. Don't talk down to me. I will literally put Sharpie all over this tattoo. (laughs) You're gonna invent Sharpie just for that. (laughs) Um, The Pikes had been... Fairly, they've they've done their fair share of sins. Their hands are dirty. If another power is to come and to replace them, then you know I'll I'll work my little magic, make sure that they're they're falling in line. Right. If you somehow manage to keep the pikes civil and subservient, then we'll talk. Anyway. Have- Oh, I have some research I need to get uh, uh, to do. I some people I need to contact. So I a bit you adieu for now, and the tattoo stops glowing. I fucking hate him so much. He is a pain to deal with, but at least you don't have to deal with the fact that he's on your body. No, I might solve that one. Yeah, that was that was basically your choice. Yeah, that's fine. Right, so we still have two more questions. Who's uh, who's second in charge of the Pikes? His dead. cousin, who's dead. Who's the third in charge? Probably dead. dead too. Uh, Gremble, what about you? Are you want to be in charge? Uh, what do, do I want to? Um, I, I I just want a retcon. I feel like you're making Gremble a little too wimpy. He was very like prideful and confident before i think you're i think you're undermining my boy just a little and it's it's irritating me ever so slightly like this we do not have a sniveling weak grembo that man is bold and that man is confident you need to stop underselling my boy grembo's out here being grembo's out here being like like what's it called uh uh, vulnerable to you yeah he's about to get fucking murdered by the la gangs and you're over here fucking like uh uh, bashing on him for like feeling emotions i'm bashing on you not him (laughs) let the boy be scared it's fine it's no no it's just like when we have found the shriek like it like this whole time he was freaking out when he was dealing with the pice in the beginning i'm like stop making my boy weak it weakness is okay but grembo was not weak to begin with that's all I'm saying. <laughs> how high um, up in the operation were you? One more time? What? Grambo, how high up in the operation were you? I was, I was just his bodyguard. Oh. Oh, not very. Uh, no, no, he was, uh, he was, uh... I don't, I don't mean to correct you about your own story. No, 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 um, no of course, of course. That means, he was, that means, uh... That, that did, does give him, like, you know, a, a lot of, like... That did give me a lot of power within the organization itself, uh... Uh, effectively, I guess lieutenant rank, but yeah, wasn't he? Wasn't I'm, I'm asking you, Dust, not Grimbo. Wasn't he? Um, like essentially a don of the like, like he was, like, he was a figurehead, wasn't he? He was like, like, uh, like... more, more because of his connection to Luca than anything. Okay, because... okay, Luca. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, okay. My bad. Grimbo, I want you to be real with me. We've worked together for a while, yeah. No, uh, I'd say so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, not, not, not like. In person, person, but I'd say so. We we're working in the same organization. You're you've been aware of my presence in the in the company for a while. Correct. Yes. I know that compared to Luca, I was small fry. If you don't want to take over, I could give it a shot. 
I don't know if I have as many connections, but I know with my position where I was, I was on the ground dealing with actual people. I know most of the buyers in the city just from my day to day. Listen, I don't imagine much would change by just being the head. But I mean, it, the administrative work alone, do you have any idea how much paperwork Lucan actually did for the city to like keep keep things in check? Uh, how, how many dinners he held um, a week to make sure that politicians kept the uh, kept in their own lane. We, if if you take this job, you would be locked out. Locked out. I, I'm confused on what that actually would mean. Like okay, um, you would be locked in here. Okay, that makes more sense. Rarely, rarely, rarely allowed to like go out and and do what you do now. I, I need to sleep on it. If there's no one else fit for the job, then I'll do it. But you, you specifically would lose a lot more than you would gain. City would be safe still. Love the city's never safe. The city would be as safe as it is right now. Which it's not saying much, though. Yeah, the current situation is deteriorating rather quickly. I just don't want people to suffer. Oh. And maybe it's fucked to say this and selfish, but maybe just having that little position of power would be able to get my sisters and just make sure that they're safe. I. It's my opinion that it'll put a target on their backlog. That's fine. I don't care. What I'm saying is it would do the exact opposite of what you want Wisteria. to do. Wisteria, why don't you just tell them to come here? They could <clears> stop <throat> they could stop working. They could just live here in a hotel. I highly doubt that anyone would really be against the idea. And if they are, then well, you know, one of us is gonna be the boss, it seems, so. I'm sure they won't uh, put up too much of a public fuss. I'll have to stop by later tonight then, or whenever I get the chance. Hmm. The sun's approaching noon now. Uh, Y'all are getting, getting a tad on the hungry side. Um, I st we still have questions. I don't want to forget that. Yeah, we have we have two more questions for Luca. I'd really like to know. All right. He knows. <laughs> His corpse is just floating in the background. Yeah, no, I try I try bringing attention to that earlier, but we got distracted. Um, the corpse can wait. <laughs> I mean, I, I have one question I want to ask. What's the other one you wanted to ask, Al? Uh, I had to. You you can obviously it's up to you. I wanted to know. Can he tell us anything about the creatures? that killed him and attacked us. That's the one. And two, what does he think that we should do with the Pikes at this moment? Those are my two. I'm not sure if it coinc either coincided with what you wanted to ask, but those are my two. Which one of those do you think is more important? I'd argue the first. The more information we know about our enemy, the better. We're already pretty much ass out with the place anyway. So I figured, know that our enemy. I mean, the only thing we do know for sure is that it's the Fey butterfly. That's if you ask traitor. me, I don't think we know that either. But you just told me. You said like she, the butterfly, and then like I said to all. like I said to Thiden. There's never been, it's not that there's never been an encountered story of a demon that's about to fly. It'd be the perfect camouflage. Hiding in the abyss while everyone's searching for you in the Feywilds because your, your figure is a butterfly. You might be barking up the wrong tree there, Al. I might be. I might be. As far as we know, it might be a protean or even some uh, protean? Any other, any other, oh. I'll give you. A, I'll, 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 I'm asking. I'll, I'm I'll asking throw. you, Dust. Like I don't oh, know. I'm yeah. asking. Like, like I'm genuinely. I don't. What the fuck's a protean? A chaotic neutral monitor, effectively like the celestial, but for like the neutral. Kind of like the Watcher, things. like like that that level type of creature. 
not quite think angels and demons and like devils and shit but like for k like like the neutral things like the neutral realms also have their uh angel equivalents effectively okay protians are those of chaotic <clears throat> neutral okay mm -hmm. i was asking like i genuinely hadn't heard that term before oh what i'll say is i know that whatever impacted me is fey and it seems like whatever impacted him was the same thing that impacted me how do you know that i i just know well, you gotta explain it to me. I can't just believe you on a whim without intent to offend, love. It's... Listen, okay. here's where this thought came from. The fight are magical creatures. They live in it. They swim in it. They surround themselves by it. And in that room is an area devoid of magic. And if you ask me, no fey would ever tamper with sorcery like that. Unless they're Fae trying to get one up on the rest of the others. And also... Where does your magic come from? I was born with it, I don't know. Cool. Uh, for reference, so everyone knows, our Tam has no idea where his magic comes from at all. That is a honest to god truth. He does not understand his own power. Well, just as one would not understand the source... It just, it's there. It's in my magic. It's in the way I am, the way I have changed through this event. There's like a little, a little bird in my head just spinning around that's saying, Faye. Intuition, I guess. I don't know, but... And I'd love to trust you on just intuition. It's not intuition, it's, you, it's I'm, there. I'm repeating what you say. You can't, you can't, you can't blaspheme me for that. I'm saying, I know it. No. What you know is the sky is blue, and grass is green. Magic is not that simple. You are being diminutive, but whatever. I'm being open-minded. To rule out any option without actually knowing, having substantial proof beyond intuition and gut feeling, is diminutive. To close off doors before you've walked through them is foolish. And I think it's okay. wise to consider all options. Because before today, we had no idea that there was once a water. We had no idea that they're no longer here. We don't know nearly as much as you may think we know. Your and thing is that it is a walk like a duck, quack like a duck type thing. Of and then there's a platypus. <laughs> Sorry. What? And being diminutive. Bro, folks, folks, Whatever. folks. Let's let's just take a, a break. Let's try to gather our thoughts. I'm simply saying we should be open to other options because there's strange magics afoot. I agree, but as a current stance, we should. We we just need to do a little more research. Take that, take, um, oh, sorry. How about we get that dust or whatever you found, uh, research at the library? And then we that's, can go from there. That's, actually, that's what I would suggest. I'm actually going, uh, can I, uh, I'm just going to quickly run back and grab a second vial. Yeah, go for it. Uh, so I do that really fast. I'm back in like 60 seconds tops. Mm -hmm. I'm going to so, ask a question. Wait, say, go ahead. Sorry. Something. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, uh, dead spirit uh luca. Luca. luca that spirit dead spirit luca i forgot what? his name <laughs> i i don't it just happens sometimes uh i forgot the question you, you want me to repeat like I, you want me to repeat one of my questions for you i'm gonna have a flashback real quick mm. <laughs> mm. you you want to ask are you yeah. asking your own question or one of mine i'm gonna ask one of yours the uh the uh can he tell us anything at all about the creatures that killed him what were the what uh, like a genie wish I gotta be careful what I say uh wh what, what can you tell us about the creatures that killed you yeah, I might as well, yeah what can you tell us 
about the creatures that killed you. Mm. Aim from the dark. They ate the light in my room. They came too late. The light of my life had already left me, abandoned me. Oh. That sounds a bit. Uh, so we, we all heard that, right? I just want to make, make sure that's the case. Yeah, it sounds like he died before they even came. But the... No, he said the shadow beak the creatures killed him, didn't he? Oh, he said before... I think the light he's referring to is the butterfly. I'm assuming. Um, the creatures came from the dark. They yeah, stole they the light. Yep. But he didn't. He said like that's be before he said he was like his his life had already left him. I life. think that was his way of saying he, the butterfly butterfly he loved had already abandoned him, so she couldn't be absorbed oh. by the darkness, maybe? Um... Well, his spirit is still not traveled, so it's being held captive. So the butterfly took his soul. Yeah, he can't, he can't. Before he, he was killed by the shadow beings, maybe? That's what I believe, because he didn't, he's not mentioning the shadow beings taking his life. I mean, they killed him, but they didn't take yes, his Yes, yes, yes. They came from the dark. They absorbed the light. It sounds like it's from the Satterfells. Why are creatures from the Satterfells summoning in Lucas' penthouse? Is that there's... Especially in the, uh, the, my aspect, the occult, there's a lot of occult stuff going on here. <laughs> Sorry, it was, that was just funny. From my, from my, nice. from my experience in magic, there's some magic -y stuff going on. Yeah, from my experience in the occult, there's some real spooky shit going on. <laughs> I, just, I just found out humorous, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, it's a simple I'm just a simple guy. All right. Uh, no, I, I legitimate, legitimately, I really like Walden. He, he's a, he's a, 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 a good, a good like grog esque. I was character thinking the same just, thing, yeah. <laughs> without it just being, without it just being like a ha ha big dumb guy smash. Just a simple guy who talks to dead people sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Right. Friends. Um. Well, I guess that didn't really ask that many questions, but left us with more. Uh, uh, you still have your one left, if whatever you wanted to ask, Warden. <laughs> what are the secret codes to the, your stash? What? Warden! What? I want is a loop. <laughs> share, well, share them with me. Well, Before there's any answer, it does want to say, the corpse is under no compulsion to offer a truthful answer. Really? That is true. I thought it was under compulsion to answer, truthfully. Nope. It's also oh, under compulsion to answer at all. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, is there, it is makes there a sense. more powerful version of the spell that causes it to be more truthful? Nope. It's, really? it's because, you know, yeah. you, can, you can kill somebody and then do it, but they remember that you killed them, so not, they're not going to talk to you because you just killed them. But you kind of have, like, their soul, quote unquote, hostage, okay. so I assumed you, like, had yeah, power. You have an animating spirit. It specifically says it doesn't return a creature's soul to its body. Interesting. Um, okay, okay. Come Neat. closer. I get my ear right into like okay five, like five inches away. He whispers something into your ear. I get. I gave him a pat. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! And, and I'm the, the magic. A book. <laughs> no. Yeah, petting a corpse like a dog, and the magic like retreats, and it just like slumps back to the ground. Not before you see a, a slight grimace at being. <laughs> no, no, it's a, it was a smile. It was nice. 
What were the codes? What were the codes? Bolden. Wait, wait. Wait, how do f- Here, give me a second, give me a second. Do I- I have an item for this. Where is it at? I have a- A notebook? Oh. Here, clamp of message. I'm gonna- I'm gonna cast message to Ray. <laughs> okay. You know, message does take a component of a whisper. So you do have to actually say it out loud. A uh, message uh, makes it so only the person intended for the message can hear it. It still cha- it takes a verbal component of a whisper. So, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know, I'm not cast, I'm, well, I would still, I'm casting as an item on me, though I'm not sure that makes a difference. That probably does make a difference. Maybe. It also, it also intercepts messages, which is kind of neat, but... Such a rules lawyer. How do I... I'm, t- I'm still, oh, I'm still gonna do it, even if, I mean, unless you can hear I mean, me I whispering. Can, yeah, I, I, I can, uh, like, just, like, shoot her the code, like, the, the codes while, uh, you know, and say that you send them. At this point in time, our team has mounted the strike. Uh, it is. What? It, it is just what? kind of on its back. You what? No, I'm kidding. Just... I, I wasn't actually serious. <laughs> I, I was expecting that bloody mess. No, I, I Our team is not that dumb. I mean, Walden would do something like that, but I'm not. I'm a. I got other things in mind right now. Like, what the fuck is a soul being kept? How are we gonna it's safe? Oh yeah, let's go back. Let's go back to his penthouse. Let's look for that safe. <clears throat> uh, 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 listen, I'm not one to tell y'all oh, not to gone. rob the dead. Oh. <laughs> Wait, we're already gone. Yeah, they're already gone. <laughs> oh, I forgot that there was that potion earlier that we like next to the crossbow and all that stuff. There was that potion that some people, was a fancy word. Some people that them, though. Opportunistic. That's what I call them. What was that called again? The potion of like blah 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 scrumbity. I mean, uh, not, not quite that, but it was something. It was. I, I didn't care what the gems. The gems were like cheap. There was a crossbow that was broken with bolts and a splint armor, but it was like a potion, like a liquid. But I forgot. I didn't grab it. <clears throat> out of out of my fingers. All right, you guys find um like a um a small a small. Uh, chest and it putting in the code of eight six seven five three zero nine. You open it up uh, and reveal uh, five thousand golds worth of coins, <laughs> as, as well as uh, what's it called? Um, a a small uh, silk bag of uh, that holds gems uh, worth. One thousand nine hundred and fifty-two gold. Whatever you have a specific uh, number. Yeah. Wait, so that's a total of uh, like seven thousand something. Mm, I see. I see. I, I I just wanted to do the treasure hunt. You can you can. Uh, <clears throat> give me a second. I just wanted to do the treasure hunt. You can have the you can have all of this. So I don't want it. You can take the gold. I'll take the gems. No, no, I don't. I already. Wait, how much money do I? Have? I mean, no, wait, not that I think about it, I do want to buy more stuff from that crazy wizard. Yeah, I'll, I'll just take the... You say you're taking the gold? I'll take the, yeah, I'll take the gems. Since you're less. Uh, Rail, you weren't there for it, but uh, uh, the mention of the crazy wizard makes you realize that they had been buying magic items off of your father's main competitor. Hmm. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> so, that yeah, damn... How do you react? Are you gonna, are you like... Did you just say wizard? Yeah. Like, how are hard. you gonna react, bro? His name's Wiz Hard. Yeah, it was, it's a really, it was a really hard wizard. Like, he was fucking I'm sure bad. I can find you better quality items. Oh. I like the sounds of that. He he did promise me a cloak, but... It's not gonna come, like, in a week or so. <clears throat> I'm probably not gonna get it. I'll be heading back to my shop soon. I can figure something out. Just load and just dies. <laughs> uh, I, I, I like magical items, but yeah. Okay, I mean, listen, man. One one quick thing. Um, I, I I'm just meta gaming a little bit, but uh, I do I I do have like some rules in play for um, what's it called? Uh, tally to 
craft magic items um yeah, you know a, a bit a bit a bit more in depth than the like infusion version of crafting so uh furthermore certain items that you get from monsters will allow you to craft better items Ouch. items that you get from monsters such as I don't know, like some shrike feathers Oh, before I forget, um, I'd like to gather up, uh, a little bit of the dust of the creatures. If, if, is that, is that doable? I yeah. did that. I grabbed a pouch full, but I didn't have a vial for it. I put it in my pocket. <laughs> Bunch of black stuff in my pocket. Right, right next to your fucking wallet. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 <clears throat> like, right now, my pocket has money, the black, the black powder, some leftover food. Um, I think I have, like, my dagger in there, too. Just a bunch of random shit in there. Okay. Well, um, with that, guys, uh, I think we're gonna have to call it, uh... What's it called? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Two of them here. It's... Yeah, if that's fucking three near me. Nobody uh, My sleep schedule. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies, friend. Um, so I'm gonna try to, uh... What's it called? Uh, we're, we will shoot for the... In, in, in not this next week, but, um... Uh, two weeks from now? Uh, so the 26th? Or, I guess the... Technically, the twenty fifth as the next uh, uh, next day. Uh, um, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Uh, you know, like I'll, I'll be more than happy to like you know work things out. Uh, uh, oh, by the way, I am fucking around with experience. Um, okay. so as it currently stands, y'all got three hundred and fifty experience from that account. Oh, That's no. a big number. Uh, you need exactly a thousand to level up. And what's it called? Uh, you you know, uh, it it will reset every time. So if I could really like slit the shriek's throat, the what? I said if I could really slit the shriek's throat, how much experience do I get? Uh, you would <laughs> lose morality points and gain a full level. Nice. Um, it's like on their tail. I would do would... a reaction and chomp you. Uh, <laughs> I would like to ask, could we uh, figure out a more definite note to end on? Because I think we're kind of aimless. I'd like to know exactly where we're okay. ending. Right, right, right. That, 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 that makes that, that That's fair. All right. Well, uh, you, um, uh, Grambo comes up and goes, <clears throat> all right, well, hmm. Let's do that. Wisteria, if you give me your address, I can go ahead and Collect your family. Get them, uh, get them over here. If you guys want, uh, uh, you guys go ahead and go find Coley, okay? As far as I know, she should still be in the, the library in the college. Yeah, she's waiting for us in a few days. I'm not sure how that's going to coincide with what we have to do here now. Hmm. Christ, that's... everything's happening so fast. Uh... Well, sounds to me like you may have some choice coming up in the future. Either stay here or, you know, do the expedition. Either way, that sadly a choice that I would definitely not want to have. Yeah. Um. Are you, uh, are you able to travel to Thighton? Or is it just that one wizard? Sorcerer, a magic user. Magic mm, Grembo. No, I I can't as easily as as them. I normally need to find them one way or another. If I gave you this vial, would you be able to get to? I I could send a messenger. I give him one of the vials because like I I can't I can't be in two places at once. Is my thoughts. Okay. So I want to like I'll, I'll I'll go to Cooley and he'll get the other one to fade it. <laughs> Okay, yeah, uh, that, that works that, that works for me. Then... Uh, Grembo, if you're going to get them, I'd say probably tomorrow morning would be the best time, because then it would only be my sister's home. They're the only ones I'd want you to bring. Hmm. And well, that's if you think they'd be safe here. Uh, would they be safe? Definitely, but that would present some legal challenges that I will have to think about. 
Either way, I'll I'll make sure it's done. I mean, they're old enough to leave the house. They just haven't. Are they? I thought they were like the adequate out of character. I thought they. Were, I thought like you have like three sisters, right? Like the twins are like really young, and one of them is like thirteen. Can't remember how old they are. <laughs> I, th- I think I think I think the middle one was thirteen, and the twins were like like seven each. Give me a sec to check. I don't have her story on hand. Um, um, stereo backstory. Um, they're all about ten years or so younger than me. How old is Mysteria? Uh, twenty-five or something. Huh? Uh, twenty-two. Okay, so yeah, they're young. Never mind. I suppose I'll run down some of my own connections to see what I can find in the meantime after Cooley. We're on the way. I'm not too sure. I think I'll make my way there. It's what midday at this point, probably. Yeah, uh, it's it's about noon. All right. Awesome. All right. Sounds yeah. sounds so like a plan. I guess we'll make we'll make our way to Cooley and um. <laughs> if you like, <laughs> if you like, Grambo, I can head with you and just clear things up. Realistically. <clears throat> Mom is a piece of shit. She's not gonna... She won't even fucking notice if they're gone. But I'll help you take care of that. I'll... I'll... I'll do as you ask. Right. We've got a lot to do. Frankly, not enough time to do it. So I guess... Let's be in our way. Uh, I, if if you if you folk want to accompany me, I'm going to uh, make my way over to the college. College. Yeah, you were there. Nerd. That's exactly what I'm looking for at the moment. A nerd. A nerd. Mm. Can't help you with that. Eyes only have dead bodies. <laughs> It serves its purpose too, just like a nerd does. Oh, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do now. I, uh, Rail, what are you wearing for armor right now? I think I have some leather armor. Yeah. Leather. Can you wear medium? I can. I, I'm gonna deep armor myself. I'm still, I'm still wearing clothes on me. I'm not naked. Heathens. I am gonna give Rail my medium armor, half plate of protecting, plus one. And Dawn, well, it's, I'll mean, I'll take a little bit, my Adamite armor. That way, you will have <coughs> a piece of armor that's 16 plus two. Oh no, you. No, you don't have a high deck, so it wouldn't matter. Right. It'd still be 16 plus one, so that'd be seven. Oh, 16? I can't just... tell if it's. I just want to illustrate the comedy of this. Avertain was like, alright, we got a lot to do and not a lot of time to do it. And we'll want to proceed to take 15 minutes to strip I'm down his stripping. armor. Because it takes 10 to 15 minutes to take off your armor. And it I, takes I'm, another 10 or 15 minutes to put it back on. And I'm, I'm like, alright, we gotta go. Room. And he just starts stripping in t- instead, taking half an hour of our time. Like, alright, I, I guess I'm white. I'll do this. I'm moving like every like every like step. I'll like unloosen okay. the uh, strap. <laughs> Stripping. Yes, we were already messing around with the safe. <laughs> we were already gonna be behind. Right. All right. I'll let you guys catch up then. But let's let's break. Yes. Break breaks. Break. And that's where we'll end break, it. Break. That's where we'll end it exactly. All right. How do I do this? Um, dust. Out of character question. Hello. I am. I'm a character. <laughs> <laughs> Can I replace my ability score increase I got a level four with a feat? Uh, why well, you already have two of them? I like three. What feat? Uh, magic initiate. Oh, you do want to get some uh, some spells? Okay. <gasps> Utility. That Something like cool. would be nice and have as a uh, gunslinger. Shit. Yeah. Mag- sure. Sure. Go magic for it. Magic initiate or like. The Fey touched or Shadow Not touched? Specifically Magic Initiate. Alright. And I'm gonna take a few wizard spells. Or one wizard spell and two wizard cantrips. 
Wait. Even though, wait, would your intelligence be useful? I, mean, I guess it doesn't matter if it's intelligence. With intelligence spells, but... they won't matter with my, um... Yeah. And Magic Initiate has no limitations like multitasking does. Yeah, right. it does. Alright, well, uh, a good session, guys. Uh, I, I was... I need to, like, figure out how to this Or, correction, no. I do know how to design better, like, or, or the file, like, encounters that aren't just one big, massive encounter. Uh, because I have two potential dungeons for y'all to fuck around with next time. So, with that in mind, um... Yeah, with that in mind... You know, go, go team. We did it. Um, what's it called? Uh, specifically, there were a few choices. I'm not gonna get into it right now, but I I'm glad you changed your picture, by the way, Tally. That that's very good. But um, uh, there are uh, there were a few choices that y'all made earlier on that. Could have prevented Luca from dying. Uh, I'm not going to go into what? them, but what is what what it does matter is that I it, it opened up the opportunity for me to uh, do some some fun shit. So uh, Wait, also what? also y'all have consequences. Your actions have consequences. Also, uh, speaking of actions and consequences. Uh, I'm not gonna, once again, not gonna go too far into it, but I'm very, very happy y'all forgot about something. What? So, um, no, you I'll can't say that, you dick! I'll leave it at that, because you I am dick. a massive dick. That's it's been barely, like, over a month, maybe two, since we last... No, 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 no. This session. You forgot something this session. In the middle of the okay. session, you forgot something? Mm -hmm. Yep. The mate? Hmm? The mate? Oh. No, I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna. What's it called? Go, no, go. No, you oh. don't get to do oh. that. You're like, you can't just tell us that. Like, I want to talk, and then to say nothing. I mean, you're no, a the... dick. That was such a dick move. I hate you right now. I know what we forgot, guys. What, what? did we forget? We forgot the invisible elephant in the room. I didn't forget that. I chose to ignore it. Is that what it was, Dust? The invisible thing? Uh, I'm not gonna confirm uh, either way. But... <laughs> I'm not gonna fight. I'm not gonna fight. The other invisible. strike. Well, there wasn't. Yeah, there wasn't. Well, well, there was no. There was no. Uh, we probably would have seen it, or like, I think. Yeah, there's, I think that's still in the menagerie. Yeah. Probably. I feel like that would have been more more obvious than an invisible creature. No, I. I especially when I saw uh, I saw Wisteria move her character back over to the edge. I'm like, I could bring that up. But I don't want to fight anything else, so I'm not going to. <laughs> I just point out for anyone who didn't see it, y'all really did just steal that money that was like used for keeping the pikes in line. I don't think it was that much, honestly, because if you think about it, they offered us like four thousand gold per head of like an rival gang. Sure, um, but why the fuck would he keep it in the safe if it wasn't important? I'm also, just saying it wasn't that much. He wouldn't have given us a code otherwise. I guess. Really, he wanted us to have it. Yeah, he totally wanted us to have it. Still doesn't the fact that I'm upset about it. That's my boss, man. Oh, can I retcon? I totally meant to, to ask Grandma to, like, handle taking care of and preserving Luca's body. But I forgot. Oh, oh he, he's, he's gonna do that anyway. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. L Luca, Luca basically, like, adopted Grandpa, so, like, there's, there's Well, I mean, uh, like, don't bury him, just, like... <laughs> oh yeah, we never we didn't bury stuff. Oh, body. Just... That, that's what I meant. Like, don't go and bury him. Like, we're gonna try and get his soul and bring him back. So like, okay. put him in a safe place. That that that's what I want. That's what I meant. Like, put him in a safe place. Like, maybe clean up his him as much as best you can. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, we did kind of just forget about the body, didn't we? Yeah, no, I did. I, I but, meant to ask that, but it slipped my mind with everything else. But so I want, so, I want to retcon that if I can. So, so some some very slight spoilers. I wasn't like actively planning on y'all trying to bring him back, but I mean, it's 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 fun. It's neat. Uh, it gives me stuff to work with. Um, either way, 
like, I did have a bit of an idea that, like, y'all could just <clears throat> keep the penthouse. Ooh. And, like, specifically because I thought of, like, having a little menagerie, like, a little zoo for all the fucking, like, critters <laughs> you guys are inevitably going to pick up. Like, Dude, that'd be pretty funny. If, if Grembo takes over, he's gonna need the penthouse. Not necessarily. Like, Grembo, Grembo, <laughs> Grembo makes do with the with Harry Potter room. Grembo deserves the penthouse. Also, the penthouse has, like, 14 different rooms. Yeah, I was like, say, it's, there's, it's, there's it's basically rooms. like a mansion, like, built on top of the... It's it's lavish, like... What I'm hearing know. is there's room for Grembo and me. I mean, Grembo slept in a, in a trunk. Oh! So. <laughs> is there a double He's bed in any of the rooms? It's alright, oh, they're both oh. small, you only need a single. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. I forget if we ever said. What's up? Uh, tall for a dwarf. Tall for a dwarf? Okay, so... Making me look fucking small. Probably like 5'5 five, five or something. No, probably like 4'8. Hmm. Alrighty. So that's what we'll call it tonight? Yeah, that's what we'll call it tonight. Alright. Thanks, y'all. Thanks, uh, it's been, cool it's been good. Good night, everyone.